And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. There's plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. BetterHelp is an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat-only therapy sessions. So you don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, which is awesome. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash dude. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dude. Yeah, baby. We're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKW. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKW Dude Podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started before them all. YKW. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're no. ruining this. Where's the ball man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. What's up, everybody? Uh, the dude, the the chubby bitch you love so much is back in the studio. It's been a while. Uh, we're back in the studio above the comedy cell, laugh button comedy cell studios. And I am excited to be back. We're live on Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly right now. I want to thank all you ladybugs in there in the chat hanging out. Uh, today's show, we got a bunch of questions for our guests. We have uh, a few things we're going to talk about. Uh, so uh, I'm excited to be back. I hope you're excited to see my fat face uh, back in the studio, too, it's, instead of on a stream yard. Uh, and don't get used to it because I'm fucking leaving Friday. <laughs> so I won't be back till September, bitches. What? No. Uh, but I'll be doing the show every week. And I'll be doing. I'll be doing more than the show. I'll be doing actually. We're gonna start doing extra shows uh, during the summer on Streamyard for Patreon only. So we'll be doing the YKWD for all you uh, YouTube and uh, uh, Apple download. And then the Patreon solid and uh, Ladybugs will be doing an extra show for you a week uh, up on Patreon only with just me on StreamYard, which you guys seem to like for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, anywho, uh, great show today. I'm excited to be back. Like I said, there's a weird vibe in the studio. There's somebody living <laughs> in the other room. We can't use the I don't know what's happening. I leave for a month in the fucking studio. There's a human being living in, I don't know, living in the room. I don't know how to talk about it because I don't know. Nobody, Liz won't call me back. She's ignoring me, literally ignore. I, uh, who knows? Maybe she'll call me back or come up during the show. Uh, but I got to, I'm a, I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am. We had call him on the show uh, and then he got called to work. Uh, poor dude. <laughs> that sucks. That just sucks. It, really, it just ruins the whole illusion of podcasting. Of success. Of success. Yeah, he's got. I got to go move a couch in a Brooklyn walk-up. But uh, we also have uh, uh, Kevin Ryan and H Foley. Hey, the Garbage Boys are here. Hey, they haven't been here in a long time. Uh, I'm excited to see them. I saw you two at the premiere the other night. Mm -hmm. Yes, I felt like I got too excited. What? what are you I talking about? I felt like you guys were like, yo, what's up? You guys did the, no, yo, you what's up? And I was like, it. I hit Stop you it. with the Bobby. Oh, I yelled that, out Bobby. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, okay. I thought I was too excited, so that's I crazy. think I, have you ever? <laughs> I must ask for an autograph. Well, when we, I was walking out, I saw you two, and I was just, you know, not only for familiar faces. Sure. But I haven't seen you two uh, time, since uh, Skankfest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's overexcited. Scary. When you walked out, I said to you, "That was brilliant." You know that. Yeah. And you go, "What are you talking?" You literally said, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> but like you were looking for a cab. Well, I'll explain to you. There's, there's, there's a reason. Before you explain that, yes, I want to say something. Yeah. We both feel the same way. What? That was a beautiful movie. Yes. You were amazing in it. So good. And if you don't have your tickets yet, go see Fourth of July. It's crazy. Yeah. It's good. Something it's crazy. Else. It Something is good. Else. 
I was, I was, uh, I saw a, a couple versions of it mm-hmm. way back in the day. Sure. Because after we filmed it, thank you very much for so It was so good. You were thank you. fantastic. I appreciate that. And I, I believe uh, everybody- A moving performance, great. I would say. Thank you, man. It was a great movie. It was a, it's, look it, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not what you're going to think it's, it is. It's this beautiful little movie about family anxiety. Uh-huh. And, and it's a love story. It's like a little love story, but it has a lot of funny people in it. Mm-hmm. Sure. And- there's a lot of uh, Louis moments in it too. It's directed by Louis, so there's a lot of like, what the f- is happening, uh-huh. and you kind of interpret it yourself. And it was beautiful too, the way it was shot and everything. I he- felt like I, I said I haven't laughed that many times yeah. in a theater with a group of people in like the longest time. Not even due to the pandemic, just like going to see a movie where. Everybody thought that many parts were funny. We don't have friends. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't get invited to the movies that much either. But well, it was funny. <laughs> it was funny that I, that was blew me away. Is that we're all in the theater laughing again, right. dude? It was the first twenty minutes of that was it was like a stand up special. Yeah, it was every couple of beats. Ah, 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 ah. The craziest thing is they got to laugh before a word, like the the opening uh, quote. Gets a laugh. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was great. You know, the family is whatever, whatever, and they yeah. don't want to give it away. But <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to give it away. I almost gave it away. <laughs> That's why you're better than me. I almost went blah, 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 blah. You got to see I don't it. want Louis to get mad at me. We're not kissing your ass. It's that good. You got to go see yeah, it. Yeah, it's see. a Joe List, and Louis uh, wrote a beautiful movie. And he, so and good. Louis directed It's in theaters, so go see it in theaters. Yeah. List carried um, the whole thing. He was He did great. Smart, dude. Killed a- amazing. it. Amazing. Yeah, the thing at the end, and... Sure. Uh, the Paula was great. The Paula was beautiful. Yeah. Everybody um, everybody killed it. Regionally cast, that was so cool that he did that. I know. Uh, Tony awesome. V. Yeah. Uh, Boston comic legend Tony uh-huh. V was in it. And then the Walsh, uh, was it Chris Walsh? Yeah, he yeah. was great. Who I loved. He, he was my cool. favorite. He was fantastic. He was so good in that movie. So Boston. Mm-hmm. Such a fucking dude. The fucking dude. Mm-hmm. He ran on the thing and a fat chick. He was so good, and that's who he is. I know. I loved him. Uh, the mother was great. Mom was unbelievable. Oh, man, that is every one of my fucking Woo! Aunt Marys. I have like three Aunt Marys, and she's all of them. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's nuts. It's wild. I, I literally was watching. I was like, that's like going to Thanksgiving at my house. It's crazy. Yeah, with Out, the, all the nose character. Out. I have five uncles. Bill, uh, what are you doing? Yeah. You still doing comedy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A grown man. Make fun of you for living in New York. <laughs> You're like, what I'm is, sorry. Was Max a Yankees fan yet, you yeah. fucking loser? Well, who cares if he is? Dude, I get I get made fun of for going to Starbucks over Dunkin' Donuts. They're like, you <laughs> This guy doesn't even like Dunkin'. He's Starbucks. It's Isn't great. that funny? Why? Are you going to take him to see a screening of it? Who? Max. Uh, uh, that's a good... Dude, why haven't I thought of that? Dude, uh, you're a, 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 a him buy a big ticket, screen. Though. This ain't some Netflix deal. You're on... It's a big screen. Let's go. I, but here's Say the reason why I wouldn't. He he's not. He's not. He's nine. Say Tubi. <laughs> Come on. He's not gonna sit through it. It's what do you true. mean, dude? Listen, he's not gonna sit through fucking Joe's I monologue. Think see- <laughs> <laughs> Joe's tiny mouth. He's gonna, I'm gonna look Ain't over. That why this guy's such a pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over. The kid's gonna be. Like, <laughs> now I think seeing you on screen. I mean that that was the, the anticipation one thing. of seeing you. Yeah, the well, scope of the movie on the big screen is really. Well, we've done that. I've done that with him. We he was. I got him in a movie that I was in. Okay, I played Santa Claus in a movie a couple of years ago, <laughs> and I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> 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 I mean, your I think future. I read for that. <laughs> yeah, your future. <laughs> I read for Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it the Meryl Streep. <laughs> no, he loved that. Everybody, every comic has a thing when they do timing. His is easy. Fuck it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you, you lick your mouth. <laughs> I gave it to Meryl Streep. <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm biting my beard a lot yeah. too. I pull hairs out from the corner of my beard. Uh, you know, that's gross. <laughs> that's not gross to me. No, it's real hot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a real sexy <laughs> stuff you got going on over there. Uh, yeah, that night was great. But when I came up to you at the end when I was leaving, yeah, I was out of it, dude. Sure. I was. Uh, I I had surgery, hernia surgery on Monday, and I I was ah, fucking... the life of a movie star, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. not all red carpets and glitz and glam, okay? <laughs> I had to go get something Lance. I was still shitting out barium from the colonoscopy. <laughs> I apologize if I was Kurt. <laughs> Hernia surgery. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, I got back from that whirlwind tour with him, and I just went right to the fucking hospital. Oh, and man. then th- <laughs> Thursday night, and I was, le- I was fucking out of it. 
And then Thursday night, I, I was so wiped. And then I, I saw you out front, mm -hmm. and uh, you said that, and I was like, I just was out of it. I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah. I'm, um, I meant every single word of it. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Yeah, fun night. How was the party after? I didn't go to that. Uh, it was good. Yeah, it was cool. Small. Yeah, it's just, it was super small. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of people just kind of like also like flooded out in the streets, just kind of like hanging. It was oh, cool. cool. It was a good hang. There were some sliders going around. Any food? Pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. some Sliders, food. some pizza. It was nice. Oh, good, 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 nice. good. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I, I missed a nice time. <laughs> That's what you're mad at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. What were the hors d'oeuvres like? Was it <laughs> worth going? Was there fish tacos? Did I fuck up? Yeah. Fish taco. Ugh. Not a fan either. I don't know why. Why I use would you that. bring up a fish yeah. taco? If they're done okay, <laughs> if they're done really well, they're okay at yeah, best. Yeah, I know. Fish tacos is like, dude, it's like. There uh, was pigs in a blanket, though. Yeah, pigs in a blanket would have been good. Uh, fried chicken nuggets. Fish yeah. tacos uh, is better than pigs in a blanket. That's a no, you're, you're, you're out of you're your mind. Not. I'm not saying they're better. I'm saying that's a more classy affair. Dude, a fish taco, first of all, can't be a, an hors d'oeuvre. It has to be hot, it has to be cooked. <laughs> Put on a plate and eaten. You yeah. can't make it in the. And then walk net. around and let yeah. people finger it for uh, 20 minutes. Nah, not just one. Uh, the tartar sauce getting starts getting yeah. warm. It's fucking cold. All right, I you gotta break up. the seal of the tartar sauce with the fucking taco shell. Get a little skin on it. Uh, you like that? Uh, you a pudding skin guy? Ah, uh, fucking bleh. Mm -mm. Um, the tomatoes warm. Ugh. Fucking dude, yeah. nothing's worse than a sweaty tomato. No, you need a cold tomato on that thing. You need the textural uh, enhancement. To make that fish taco taste good. Yeah. Yeah, fish taco is like in a, I was thinking more ahi tuna would be in there. With dude, maybe a ahi tuna is nuts that you'd even bring that up. That's even taking it to ahi tuna. That's the, what are you talking Who's about? Who's doing that? a, a, a... We're talking hors d'oeuvres. We're not talking yeah. a meal. A, ahi tuna is a meal. Yeah. A, who the fuck... If a guy walked up and went, ahi tuna, I'd go beat it. Bring those pizza biscuits over yeah. here. You know what? I'm throwing a Super Bowl party. That's all I'm serving is fish tacos. And I'm making this come. Well, you, I'm not coming to that. <laughs> First of all, Philly's going to be in it. Second of all, I'm not doing an ahi. <laughs> Dude, ahi dip, ahi pizzas, <laughs> ahi <laughs> ice cream, Let's ahi go. steak, cheese. <laughs> Listen, um, I, I, we were talking about before when I was um, before the show. We always, it's so, it fucking blows my mind. Every time you do a podcast, you always wind up talking about crazy, interesting shit while nothing's rolling. Of course. Because you get there and you're like, what's up? And like you get to like the most pressing and it's thing. it's the best because you're just like, what's up? Blah, blah. And it starts start flowing. All of a sudden, you're like, dude, fucking, why don't we just yeah. tape this? Yeah. I purposely didn't come up early because I wanted to save it for the air. Oh, good. Holding, my, you're, you're... holding my fish taco line. <laughs> <laughs> also, he was at Ben's when I found them. So. <laughs> Did you go to Ben's? No, not at all. <laughs> I <laughs> Did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> he was standing close enough to get the smell. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Take the edge off. I, mean, I, don't like trust you. I should trust you. And I didn't. I trusted him. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't trust me at all. Yeah. Oh, no. He lies. Well, I did everything. this tour with Louie. And CK. It, yeah, well, do we have to? Who else? Was there uh, another Louie? Just clear. Is, are people he is really, my best friend now, by <laughs> the way. So are people play. really going Gomez? <laughs> <laughs> world tour with, with, shout out uh, to Louis Gomez. Yeah, shout out to the Rattlesnake. Skank fest. Yeah, <laughs> I did a I did a world tour with Louis Gomez. <laughs> so uh, first stop Delaware. Yeah, we did. Uh, <laughs> we went to Germany. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for getting that. Uh, <laughs> you slowly got it. Uh, he still doesn't get it. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Is he German. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, but we were talking about the hotels and the the class. I mean, dude. There was a couple hotels. There's, There's ho a different level of class, I'm assuming, rolling with him than I let's, whatever. Let's know. put it this way. There's, ho there's the Four Seasons... And then there's another level. I've never of even been there. Hotel. Mm -mm. That Marriott's nice for us. If thousands, we go out. thousands of dollars a night. It's crazy. You pay. I mean, it's thousands of dollars a night. And I stayed at probably three of these hotels okay. on this tour. The other ones were the highest end hotel you could get, sure. right? What separate? What makes it okay? We're staying in a nice one in this city and not a nice one in the next city. Well, the one we stayed in in Sweden. Let's put it this way: as I was walking out, Ed Norton was on the stairs, and then Jared Leto walked by me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's put it that way. Like that's another level yeah. of fucking holy shitness, right? Yeah. And Ed Norton. Huh? Eddie Norton. Eddie Norton was on the stairs. Looking, Eddie! Looking confused as fucking smoking hot Jared Leto. Uh, oh, would I uh, make love to him. He snacked that one. Oh, he's a good looking kid. 
good looking kid. He has to grow that beard just to have a little manliness to yeah. him. And he's like almost fifty, I think. Almost fifty. He is older, yeah. Looks fantastic. Looks just, and he has a, he has a glow about like he was bopping. Yeah, he's been getting fucking laid for the last fucking 35 years. Yeah. What do those dudes do over there? You, know, you always hear about, like, actors over there. They're not, are they working? Are they doing, like, print? Like, I'll I, tell you what they do. There's a bunch of charitable organizations that are high level. Uh huh. They're I, doing poppers. What are you talking uh, about? They're over there getting weird. Jalapeno poppers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a fish tacos <laughs> in Stockholm. <laughs> Eddie, you try to fish tacos? <laughs> I hear the ahi's great in Finland. Let's go. <laughs> uh, they, uh, dude, they do these big. I found out that they have these organizations and they pay these actors, mm -hmm. a, I don't know, it must be a yeah. lot of money. And they fly them over, and they put them up in these things, and they go and do a, and they, a speaking they speak, engagement or something. They do a speaking engagement, and uh, and uh, that's it. And they represent whatever. This one was uh, whatever the fuck, the minds of something. What'd you ask them? Um, no, I, I found out. I'm like, why? I had to know why. Okay. Why, there, why are these famous people in my hotel? Uh -huh. You always hear that. You always hear, I saw so-and-so in fucking Switzerland. You're like, what the fuck are they doing there? Sometimes yeah. they do they do commercials overseas. That's, they make yeah, a I boatload of money. Do a fucking watch But there, there's these there's these uh, these uh, charity organizations that are... Bring them over. It's yeah. not like our charities that we do. Where we're raising money for some fucking sick kid with cancer. At a, at a fire hall. Yeah, they yeah, exactly. The around. yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. Jared not walking over yeah. the UNICEF box. Yeah, they're paying you two more money than charities making. They <laughs> fucked up. They didn't calculate it in. Yeah, you think they give that back? You think they say, go ahead, take the fee, give it to the charity? Who? The Jared Leto and them. No. Think they take it? 100%. Dude, yeah. because it's at another level. You're talking the richest people in the world mm -hmm. are going to Oprah's Gale stuck her head in at breakfast. Damn. I looked over and I'm eating, I'm eating my fucking eggs. Not yet in my room. <laughs> Gail was like, hey, how you doing, Bob? <laughs> you have any towels <laughs> by any chance? <laughs> hey, the fish tacos downstairs are amazing. Your AC working? <laughs> <laughs> Smell like smoke on his floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, she just came it's like she just came in for breakfast and looked in. And looked up, was that Gail? I wouldn't even know her. I do. I know Gail. <laughs> um, I got her and Huda mixed up. Who? Huda. Huda. Who's Huda? She's like the, uh, she hosts like the 15th hour of Good Morning America with Kathy Lee. <laughs> the 15th. <laughs> it's her and like. Is that the chick who had cancer and came back? No, that's the other No, chair. no. That was, wait, who's that? No, Huda's the, uh, she's been around for, yeah, her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huda. Oh, that's very, dude. That's great. That is, a, that is a good mix up. That's not that, a great picture of her. She is kind of... Yeah, Gail looks very similar. Bring up beautiful. Gail. It looks very similar. I would take her over Gail, though. Gail has aged. I think she's got a set of cans on her, too. Who, Gail or Huda? Huda. Huda or yeah. Huda? Huda? <laughs> you don't know either. I think it's Huda. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, that is Look very Huda-esque. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's got they, a lot of cash. I, know I mean, they could have picked a different background. They're blending right in. I mean... <laughs> Maybe a sunset. <laughs> what is that? A, is that a cake? <laughs> Looks like the top of a cake. We're such dirtbags. She used to have a house in Stone Harbor, New Jersey. Oprah yeah. did, or yeah. Avalon, one of them. It's like all we're like billion. Oprah we, did. We, yeah, Oprah did. Yeah. yeah. Not fucking Hoda. I don't care how much. There's no way. But we would go and try to see it. You'd be like, I, I was. You would, you would like hang out out front to try to get a glimpse of her house because it was all covered in trees. It was like up on the beach and you right. it was all keep the riffraff out. There. Yeah, but yeah, that's trashy, dude. There, yeah. That's you, that's it. Like when there's a limo coming by or something, you you, you know, you try to see who's in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Bunch of high school kids. Yeah, it's kinda, yeah, but still, keep your shit together. <laughs> Have some dignity. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that broad. So she popped into breakfast, dude. This hotel in Sweden was nuts, but the hotel in the hotel in fucking Amsterdam, off the charts. Yeah, I mean, you walk in, they greet you, and bring you in. And sit you down individually in these leather chairs. And then you get like a Mont Blanc <laughs> pen. Okay. It's like this. Know what that is. Beaut it's, a, it's a fucking beautiful pen. And then they have these. In it's like front a cross of you, pen. It's not. It, no, no. It's better no. than a cross pen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's a cross pen? How do you guys know pen? I don't know. Cross pens? Cross, cross pen is nice. But I'm a cross big pen man is, through and through. Cross pen is not even near enough. I like Mont the astronaut Blanc. pen myself. <laughs> a cross pen is like a, a Swiss watch. Compared to a Rolex, which is the Mont Blanc. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> it was it was. People not, it was, can't know the name. I mean, am I the only person who doesn't know what a Mont Blanc? Mont Blanc is, is also a watch company. Mont Blanc. Well, Mont Blanc is a pen, but watches. Yes, Mont Blanc. Four fifty five for a fucking pen. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Give me a Uniball roller. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> 
Have you ever written with a Mont Blanc? Uh, I have not. No, I've never had the... Try it before you fucking... I'm not hanging out with Huda or whatever yeah. you're doing. Do they on. have him at TD Bank? Because if not, he's never talked I don't like one. that you downgraded my story with Huda. It was Gail. <laughs> you're Huda, all right? I'm I'm with Gail. I think it's Huda. Huda, whatever. <laughs> Either way, call me, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to plug the dates. Let's go. <laughs> let's, let's go. I... I uh, you sit down, and then there's a there's a uh, a glass enclosed with bees, bees with, with little wings on it. Bees. What are you in a fucking escape room? What's going on? <laughs> what the and the clock is, is ticking. <laughs> yeah, I didn't order the wasps. Excuse me. <laughs> bees. Then they release the hound. It's a real fucking nice hotel. Um, See, so there's a, a, a glass. See, so they open it up, and they're chocolate. They're chocolate. Oh. There's a master chocolate maker. Don't the bees come out? No, the bees. Are, did you hear me? The bees are chocolate. I oh. thought when I said chocolate bees, you'd oh, fucking really. Oh, no, okay. I didn't pick up on chocolate <laughs> yeah, at first. They're made of chocolate, and inside is honey. So they come over to you, and they. This is you can't just check in. There's this whole process of checking in. Okay. So I'm sure you could be like, look, just give me my key. I gotta go. Save the bees. Right. Save the bees. I I've had snap the bees. one off. Turn <laughs> the AC down. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm making them go through the whole fucking. Sure. I'm going through this. You got HBO up there? <laughs> yeah. So they 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 come over and they hand pick a bee and they put it in your hand and you take a bite. Dude, is Louis with you while this is happening? No, Louis always leaves before us. Louis Louis's ah, bags. So you start are- stealing towels. I bet. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> start start running your mouth. Louis Louis uh. He goes to the hotel before us. We're at the airport. I gotta get my check bag. His bag was with somebody else. Okay. And he just takes off. Oh. But anyways, that's how I, I gotta start traveling. Uh, you even, fly you, together though, right? You're you both, you're sitting next to each other on the plane. Oh yeah, we all fly no. together. We okay. travel together. Just when we get to the airport, he has no his check bags are being handled by somebody else. Sure. So he just takes off and goes to the hotel. Uh huh. When me and like the other guy, uh, Bobby's Greg, stealing the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> me and Greg. <laughs> Carried a bunch of little cans of tomato yeah. juice. <laughs> so you got a couple of tons of blankets to get the fuck out of there. I got the slippers. <laughs> <laughs> got them on your hands. I got. Uh, I did take. I did take a couple things from these hotels. Oh my god! What? I'd be stealing the. I only took two things. I took the alarm <laughs> clock and the flat screen. I almost. <laughs> This I, was mine. I swear to get your hands off of me. I almost stole, you know, the thing on the desk with the. What? the, the, thing the, the <laughs> I brought these hangers. This is egregious. <laughs> these were my chocolate bees, I swear. Ask Ed Norton. He'll back me up. <laughs> Eddie! No wonder Louie leaves before you. <laughs> Can't be fucking on the front page. So after you get your B, then the guy goes like this. Uh, he brings over four uh, fragrance bottles, like perfumes. What are they called? Fragrance. No, fragrance? That's not it. Fragrance. 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 <laughs> they got fragments in the fucking lobby. You believe that? Did I just say something? Lou, get your fragments. I knew I said it fucked up. And you, and I was I thought I, got, I thought I got away with it. Oh, you think and, so? Fish tacos? You think I was fucking letting that slide? Yeah, your fucking mind. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> this, is, this is turning into a real knife fight. <laughs> yeah, I like it. This is what I'm used to. Plus, I know Bobby's hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's recovering from a fucking groin surgery. <laughs> so, it's not like groin. It's a fucking hiatal hernia. Anal hernia? Hiatal oh. hernia, you fucking assholes. Where's that at? That's by it's your... up in here. I don't know. It's here. I know. I had it done. Oh, you're making my hernia. You have it up here? Who has a hernia? No, oh. it's always in your balls. How high do you wear your pants? No, 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 no. You don't even know what a hernia is. <laughs> hernia? Yeah, you think a hernia is you just, just threw in your nine nuts. R's and hernia. I had a, hernia. I had a, I had a, I had a belly button hernia fixed. That's when your intestines. Every fat guy, and also I'm probably not far away. I'm not. We know. Don't let them. Don't take that away from us. That's true. You're uh, about to I, fucking say something. We're about to fucking uh, listen. Jump dits. You're right with us. <laughs> well, it's also hanging out yeah. with him. You just. What do you think? Fatter. You're on a different boat. No, 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 no. <laughs> but we're all in the same boat. We might be in and the it's back. And taking water at the moment. <laughs> we might be on the back and have to be on either side. Oh, but you're right no. there too. Hanging out with him on the road, you just get fatter. There's just more appetizers. Listen, don't, There's don't. More That's tacos. egregious because they don't let me eat a thing on the road for the you last got, year. First of all, I want you to take fucking uh, a daily word. <laughs> yeah, I got back. I got back. 
Take that. You make it hotter in here, too, by the way. You think I'm doing a deposition. Where are my chocolate? I was promised chocolate bees. Listen, you got egregious in twice enough. All right. All right. Egregious. He's got three jokes, and he likes playing the hits. Egregious. I'm counting cards over here. What are you talking about? Um... So then the guy comes up with, uh, f- f- how do you say it? <laughs> Fra- a fragrance. fragrance. Why can't I say it? Because you're trash. Yeah, you're from <laughs> you're trash. Hang on one second. He comes up with fragrance. Fray. Yeah. Fray. And f- like the, the, the end is frayed. Fragrance. I, you know what I can't say, too? Just say cologne. Yeah. <laughs> Philanthropy. <laughs> Smells Philan- good. Philan- Philanthropist. Phil- Philanthropist. Philanthropist. Yeah, I have a tough to. Intramural is a tough one. For Intramural. Me. I can say that. Intramural. <laughs> no, you can't. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> this is the world's worst spelling bee. <laughs> You guys can't even pronounce the words. Let we end up all I shouldn't have had you guys on the first week. <laughs> I, my stomach hurts. I'm having a good time. <laughs> my stomach hurts. I should have had Cullum. He's less. <laughs> he would have been less. Hey, less. Tell us some more, some more moving stories. <laughs> will you? So uh, they bring over these bottles. Shout out to Kali T. Uh, love them. Uh, love them too. Um, they bring over the bottle. And they go, "What w- we want to know? What your ro- what would you like your room to smell like for the week or the five days you're here?" <laughs> Whoa. And you smell these smells. How they, thanks a hooker. <laughs> they, 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 and you're like, okay. And then you go to the next one. You look, I would like number three. Wow. And then your room smells What'd that way. Choose? Bologna. I, <laughs> Did you get anything in an I Oscar chose, Mayer? Hey, do you have fish tacos? <laughs> uh, cured meat? I love horseradish. Uh, I, was like, I was like peanut butter. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Because when you go to Hershey Park, the whole town smells like chocolate. It's great. So then you go to your room. Because your family's there. Who <laughs> brings up Hershey Park excited? He does. Fuck it, dang. Everything has to do with food. He can't even just say Six Flags. It's got to be Hershey Park. <laughs> or the air smells like chocolate. He can't ride rides unless he makes his own chocolate bar at the end. <laughs> I can't ride rides at all. I know. Fuck. We should talk about yeah, that. It sucks. We, uh, so then you get to your room. The guy brings you to your room. There's no go into your room. The guy That's brings right. you to your room, walks you in, and your bags are gone. But Someone then, else at, has your bags. At this point, you're you're you know you're a bit of a you know what? dirt bag like ourselves. You're not used to this treatment, is what I'm saying. I've so you, I'm not obligated. used to this. I I've mean, you've been, been a celebrity for a long time. I've been to fancy hotels. I've been to the Four Seasons. I've been to these hotels. I've been uh, hello, Mr. Kelly. You know, I've done all that shit. Do you feel this is another. Level? This is another level. Oh, Mr. Kelly. Hello, Mr. This is another <laughs> level. This is the bees were another level. Sure, sure. <laughs> then you go to your room. The guy brings you in your room, and my room is a fucking beautiful house. Yeah, oh, it's sure. basically a house. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And there's uh, another dome, glass dome with a chocolate peanut butter fruit tart in it, right? And then there's another dome on the table in front of the TV with diamonds, pink diamonds, pink. Before you get confused. Pink chocolate diamonds. Uh, okay. With I was like, that's definitely what you th- I would have taken the diamonds. Coconut. Sure. Coconut. Uh, yeah, so I thought they were real diamonds. Coconut confetti. So you lick the diamond, stick it in the coconut confetti, and bite it. it and there's, it it's Bobby caramel. Just eat the decorations, to be honest with you. <laughs> 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 Sir, that's potpourri. <laughs> Dude, Sir, please eating, don't eat that shots, Sir, you're eating our soap. <laughs> Now, you know rich people, real yeah. fancy people, yeah. wealthy people. Don't do that. They don't touch that. They shit. don't eat it. That's what I'm they saying. And I was mad because the bit, I was slow rolling the diamonds over a couple days. You probably days. had fucking the chocolate bees all over your face. The maid came back on the second day, the third day, uh, second day, and took my diamonds. Like, there was two diamonds left. Did you call the front desk? I didn't because I felt that would be bad. Sure. <laughs> Dad would be like, hey, where's my diamonds? <laughs> She sold sir, for me. Sir, we will send more diamonds up, you fat fuck. <laughs> I wanted to, but my... Di- Dude, I was so... Because I would come home after my walks and have a diamond. It was, it was fucking beautiful. Uh-huh. Beautiful. And then here's the kicker. I open up my drawer, and it, they have, uh, I believe, uh, 20 pillows you pick from. Hmm. You pick your own pillows. What, you, whatever type of pillow you Firm, want. Soft, whatever. Wh- I mean, all... 20 different I, I got a body pillow uh cuz I was lonely mm-hmm. uh and uh and then and another fir- it was like a, a plush pillow I got a plush Damn. whatever the fuck it was and they bring them to your room and they put them on your bed uh, dude it's fucking nuts now when you leave I know that the rooms paid for 
Yeah. What are you leaving? What are you putting down for the for for the for the for the effort? There? For the the broad coming in. <laughs> yeah, she's getting twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I learned that from Colin a long time ago. Twenty bucks. The maid gets twenty. What what do you what do you what do you there? I don't chocolate bees, diamonds. I don't know. A hundred. A hundred. You lot. are you out of your mind? Fifty. Fifty for what? Fish Clean tacos. It? I don't know. First of all, I don't let them in the room. She's not even supposed to be there for three days. I don't want them coming in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I don't want you way. coming in. I, I get my room nice. I put the privacy sign up. I don't. You I don't want fucking any help. moving my CPAP machine to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Putting ginger ale in it. Fucking with me. <laughs> Piece of shit. You don't even know what the CPAP like. I do. Is. Yeah, I go does. on the road with him. I know what a CPAP. He has. A, he has. A, he wears it on the airplane. Yeah, I carry like a nuclear football. <laughs> you don't wear it on the airplane. The goddamn right, I do. I got a little carrying case. Why do you wear it on the airplane? Because I'm not going to let it no, go you don't in the. Wear it on the airplane. Yeah, Take no, it. I'm not walking that around like Darth joke. Vader. Like, where the fuck are you going? Australia? Why are you wearing the fucking thing? No, we're flying you're to Buffalo. To... It's yeah. 18 minutes. Yeah, it's 18 <laughs> minutes. You put it on, you fucking like Bane. <laughs> oh, you carry because it's not considered a bag. <clears throat> it's not considered a bag. No, right, right. It's right. Carry. I bring that. It's a medical piece of medical equipment. Yeah, I will. I refuse to do that. I, I, I check the thing. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not walking around with oxygen. <laughs> That thing. Yeah. I'm not walking around. No they way. They know you have one, just so you know. That's fine. Yeah. They can know I have one, but they're not catching me. Mine's in a sleek bag, though. It's yeah, mine's not that in a, mine was, it says like <laughs> it, says, it says like Remco Medical says, Services on it or something. It says Lawrence Memorial Hospital on the side. Yeah, it doesn't say to me, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's not a to me CPAP. It doesn't say a way bag. All right? <laughs> it's fact I R us. <laughs> uh, and now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. There's plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. Listen, I'm telling you right now, guys, therapy to me uh, has saved my life, okay? I am from Boston. I'm Italian-Irish. I am the guy that doesn't go to therapy. But I'm, I'm telling you, talking to another human being and telling them, your problems, telling them what's weighing you down, releasing that dark cloud over your head once a week, twice a week, and letting it go and giving it to somebody else in a neutral setting. It's not, it's, you can't tell your wife everything. You can't tell your friends everything. Sometimes the stuff's about them. Who are you going to tell? I'm telling you right now, it, it, it relieves the crowd, the cloud, the dark cloud over my my life and the sun shines through and I can I don't have to have those uh, emotional hangovers that I have to live with day after day after day and better help is a place to go to get that sun to shine through trust me better help is an online therapy that offers video phone and even live chat only therapy sessions so you don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to it's much more affordable than in-person therapy, which is awesome. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash dude. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dude. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, that fucking place was nuts. And anytime you come down, you sit in the lobby, they come over, can I get you anything to drink? Mm -hmm. Anything you want, and they just bring you stuff, and it's right. fucking phenomenal. Those people I tip though, like downstairs, twenty bucks, twenty bucks, twenty. Okay. Bucks. Now, when you go, you check in. Do you got to put your card down for incidentals, or does Mister CK do that? They t he takes care of everything, but at the end, you take care of your food. Okay. Like if I order a bunch of room service, sure. I just go whap that out. Okay. He doesn't take care of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Mister CK, let me tell you something. Mister CK, out of anybody I've ever been with, has treat you like him. I. You Some, fly with him. Else I can imagine. You you stay with him, and then a, a few times you eat with him. And when you eat with him, we went to one place in Norway. This motherfucker, he's like, "Do you like caviar?" And I was like, "I love caviar." Mm. What's and that? he's like, "Give us <laughs> it's fish eggs." <laughs> he, they get, they came over with two fucking bowls, like two jars. But crazy jars of caviar. Mm -hmm. Like too much for us. Like we almost couldn't finish it. Did you take any home? <laughs> yeah, I took it home. I put it in my fucking <laughs> Mix bag. it with my chocolate diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are good in the fucking hotel fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the caviar freezes. <laughs> Throw in the microwave for two minutes, yeah. you're good. I gotta, I gotta melt it by the heater. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, it was it was crazy. That trip 
was fucking the best a match. tour I've ever been on. Best I'm tour back I've ever from been. a fucking European tour, right to the premiere. Right to, a, of yeah. right to the At premiere. The and before, but before we left, don't I, I filmed my special. He directed and produced my special. Oh, where'd, oh, where'd you do shit? that? In in St. Pete, Florida. Ooh, uh, well, that's that. Uh, that so, that's hey, the classiest place I ever, I've ever been. The Don Cesar in St. Pete Beach. Nice hotel. Yeah, yeah. Nice hotel. Yeah. We we were in St. Pete and we filmed my special. That's awesome. What club? Uh, we did it at C- a Coastal Creative. We made the space. I know those kids just hit me up not too long ago. They're fucking great people. Yeah. Good people. Uh, they work with side splitters. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. You yeah, could yeah. do a real special show there, whatever type of thing. Shout out to side splitters. Too. Yeah, side splitters right. is the best, one of the best club, my favorite club in, in the Dude, country. That room's a fucking, and that guy is fantastic. I'm drawing a blank on his name. The big fucking BT. Yeah, big yeah. dude. Wife, the place. him, the best. They're the best. And uh, yeah, we sh- so Louis shot my special, which was fucking nuts. Uh, except for the first show, I almost fucking died. Uh, it was terrible. Some lady in the middle of my special, help her. Yeah, she seized out. Ari Se- told me. Or yeah, something. seized yeah. out right the fucking show. First show, and I want to, all right, let's put, put off, everything's banking on the second show now. Hey, honey, I'm paying for this. What are you doing? Uh, dude, usually, like, dude, you get it on the first show, the second show is just a breeze. You are. The second show is a must-do. I had an eye head. Got a fucking gun to your I'm head. A, I'm in the back, I'm fucking sweating, it's too hot, it's St. Pete. Cup, I didn't blue. figure it in the fucking heat. What happened to the lady? She's I don't. Dead. F- I don't fucking know. She lived. She's dead, and it's on Patreon. No, she she lived. <laughs> she just had a seizure. That sucks. I don't know. We don't know. I don't fucking know. I just heard "help me," and I heard her husband help her, help her, please. And somebody went, "Is she a diabetic?" He goes, "I don't know. Help her." Like he was, his wife was, yeah, yeah. banged up. Yikes, banged up. Man. It's also Tampa. It could have been like meth or something. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I, do, I, <laughs> I mean, she could have. She could have got a bad bag. <laughs> you do, I, I did look out on the second show and saw a couple heads, meth heads. <laughs> you know those dirty knuckles. Uh-huh. Real uh huh. Crowd. <laughs> Shout out to Florida. So then mm-hmm. we, we so we go from there to the tour mm-hmm. and then come back to the premiere to the premiere Beacon Theater, which was look at you, fucking. It was one of the one of. Uh, that was a wild week for us because we met Louis two days before to do. He did the show. Yeah. Or the day before, whatever it was. And like that was surreal. Now I didn't, I didn't surreal. see the show. I saw that you guys had him on uh-huh. uh, your show, your mm-hmm. podcast. Very successful. Everybody knows your podcast. Um, but did they, did you guys? I didn't see it yet. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Did you stick to the show? Yeah, stuck to the show. Or did he come in and? No, no. He played the game. Yeah, we really hit him with the questions. Oh, good, good, good. good, good. Yeah, childhood it was great. stuff. Now it was yeah. We it was it was great. But that was insane. And then he was like, "Cut you if you want to come." You know, Joe will get you tickets. Right. Half price. And then we went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then going to the after, that was like surreal. And then to see all you guys on screen, it was like, it was a surreal week for us. I can't, Im- for me, and I was just watching the fucking Right, movie. yeah. I can't imagine you. And you was also made me, a, I felt proud when they, your name came up on the screen. Right. And you got maybe the biggest pop oh, yeah. right. in, the, yeah. in, the, in, the, in the theater. That was great. That like was fucking Bobby. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was yeah, cool yeah. to have my wife there, just so you might get yeah, settle down a little bit. Yeah. Who the fuck? Yeah, yeah. see me with a listen fucking, here, toots. Yeah. That's the attitude. Yeah. yeah, it was cool for me to have my wife there. I'm like, I know these guys. You know yeah, I, mean? I may have diarrhea because of the surgery, but I'm fucking somebody. Yeah. <laughs> but I got to see uh, your your girl, mm-hmm. and I did, I never met your girl. Mm-hmm. Um, I never met your girl. I've heard about your girl. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. You did the very classy thing. I go, oh, I was Bobby. You came over, gave me a handshake. I was like, oh, this is my wife. You're like, oh, thanks. I've heard a lot about you. I have. Oh, I heard a lot about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good stuff. But you guys get along yet? Who? Who? You and his wife. No, me and his wife are rock solid. Oh, who didn't get along with who? Oh boy, there was a little bit of. Be- <laughs> We're little- in it now, big man. <laughs> <laughs> this is on Patreon or what? <laughs> Put a paywall up and we'll get into it. Chicken. <laughs> there was a small. There was a, <laughs> there was a small five year period where his lady friend was not a fan of your oh, friend. Your lady friend was yes. not a fan of me. Is this the same one that was there the other night? Yes. So that's your girlfriend for a long time. That yes. was the first sit down. That was the Between other the night. Four of us in a long time. Yeah. I think really ever. or not in a since the beef. Yeah. We got we did we put everything aside to go to the the movie. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And how did that work out? It was fantastic. Oh, good. She so, spit it, in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, boy. Threw, threw a fish taco right in my face. <laughs> and then Foley got mad because that was the last fish yeah, taco. Yeah, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
the last one. Ah, I got to eat pigs in a blanket now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Louie. Um, um, yeah. No, it went. It went. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Man, you both have the same thing. Um, the end of the joke, I got nothing we are, else. No, it is. It is so funny. We've done so many shows together. Yeah. Like stand up show, like whatever, even like the, our live shows, we close out together. Yeah. And we're ju- and we've done we've been podcasting together for ten years at yeah. this point. So it's like we are slowly just becoming the same person. Like we're meeting in the middle. Like he's picking up some of my stuff, right. I'm picking up his, and we're just literally becoming the same person. Right, which is bad. Now you guys even going weight on- wise, we're meeting in the middle. He's down. <laughs> he's down thirty. I'm up thirty. Are you down? Th- I saw you the other night, and I I I saw you in the chair, mm-hmm. and I, oh, yeah. I kept looking over, and I, I wanted to go hug you because I've been there. I went to. In this same theater that we're in, we'll bring a sauce. sawzall and take <laughs> out the fucking armrest for him. <laughs> With the my, me and Mike Calter went to see Eddie Vedder up uh-huh. in the balcony, uh-huh. and he's bigger than me. It was just me and him, and him on top of me uh-huh. for the show. Uh-huh. And at one point, I go, Bob, I'm just going to go in the hallway. <laughs> I had to leave, and I go, I'm, I'll give you your money back for the tickets. I can't have another man on lot. top of me during a fucking rock show. <laughs> this is just uncomfortable. <laughs> Listening to Yellow Lead Better. <laughs> So, so uh, I saw you the other night, and I was the same thing. That's why I got the aisle. Mm-hmm. I told Leah, I can't, I can't, I can't be. Fu-. She was like, "You, you, Nick the Pot? Nope, I'm not yeah. sitting next to Nick the Pot. Yo, you fucking arm rest, you <laughs> fat fuck. That's why what the I, fuck? I was sitting next to him, and we switched. I put, I put my wife in between us. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like, are you losing weight? You lost thirty pounds? Down thirty. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I got a trainer, and I'm just not eating like a fat, disgusting pig. Yeah, most of the time. What is that? <laughs> well, you know. I don't like the end of that. <laughs> I'm a human being at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, but you're a big human being. <laughs> <laughs> I'm two human beings. <laughs> no, yeah, just uh, working out and eating right. <laughs> you said you're two overweight human beings. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're two in shape human beings. Yeah, that would be the yeah, two in shape would be like 280. <laughs> I'm like four Jar- four Jarlettos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're four in shape beings? Yeah. You're four people are in shape, but they were fat, lost weight in shape. Yeah. Not like shredded. I'm fat. We get it. Listen, uh, we're all fat in this room. Yeah. Yes, everybody. But you're getting chubby too. Yeah. Well, Fat's on the out. inside. Fat is on the outside. It is. Man. Not How old are you? Inside. Thirty-five. How old are you? Forty-six. Yeah, dude. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I remember it was so funny. I started losing weight. I lost weight because I, I was uh, listening to this show. I just started doing no sugar, no grains yeah. years ago. Right. Seven years ago, something like eight years yeah. ago. Lost about 50, 60, whatever it was. Got trim. Mm -hmm. I think kept it off for the most part. And then you were always like, you have multiple fats. And I remember remember hating that because I'm like, not not me. Not fucking me. Uh And now every day you're in my head going multiple fats. And I'm like, motherfucker, he is right. I know. I'm on my seventh. But I'm I'm done, dude. I'm done. I'm done. I saw you doing the fucking workout. I I can't do it anymore. My knee, my joints... Everything's fucking going. I'm not gonna make it. I probably won't make it till sixty. What? Yeah, dude. You you gotta you gotta stop. Yeah, no, I yeah, know. Don't look down when I'm looking you in the eye. <laughs> yeah, when I'm man. having a moment. When I'm having a. Fat, I'm on the path. I'm having I'm a. With f- you. Just look up yeah. right here. I see him. I'm going having down. a fat moment with you. <laughs> I know. I know. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. Plus, we're making a little cash these days, too. Yeah, and dude, if you die, what is he going to do? Who's he replacing you? Ian Fidance at 5%. Who the? <laughs> it's, already, it's already fucking written in stone. But Ian Fidance <laughs> comes on, and I gain dude, 15%. He's going to kick up to my motto, 20%. Yeah, that's Buddy. what he thinks I'm going to pay his mom for the, out of the Patreon. What is this, the mob? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your mom ain't getting shit. Tell the suit. Fucking kid rock. Take care of my family. That's what he keeps saying. He goes, my mom's got to get something out of this. I'm like, what are you nuts? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, you got to kick out the patty. I don't like how fast fucking Ian Finance came out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd be a bad businessman if I didn't have a, some sort of contingency plan with him walking around. He wants and to he dump been- you for a half a like that. <laughs> I know, but I'd be gaining. I'd be gaining. So the many pie, more. The, the yeah. bigger pie would be going. The pie would get smaller. Yes. But my percentage of the pie would go up. Right. Okay. Yeah. But that ain't happening. I ain't fucking going no. anywhere. I'll tell you All right. Well, right. have you gotten checked out? 100%. I started doing that. He uh, said he was fat. It was crazy. <laughs> 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 well, dude, I'm walking around with. <laughs> I'm walking around with another guy. Like, I'm walking around with an in shape guy. Uh, a regular dude, you mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah on yeah. my body. Sure. The guy that lives here? Who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Around my waist. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're working on it. Right. You're you know working I mean? on it? You're wor- I'm wor- we're working, on working on it. I'm working on it here. That's the only thing that, 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 that nothing annoys me, but it gets like, 
I'm, I am doing it. And people sometimes talk to you like you're just starting. It's like, I'm fucking doing it. How No, but I, how long you been doing it? I don't know. I hear you on that. I started with the trainer in December. It's obviously been a slow process, but uh, now things are starting to, to really cook. I'm taking my nutrition a lot more seriously. Yeah. Um, with the checkups, I you know I went a year ago. I got a health insurance for the first time a year ago. Right. I went. I got my blood work. I went and saw the cardiologist. I did the stress test. Yeah. All that stuff. I had an angiogram because I have a small little blockage in one artery, but it's not causing any trouble. I'm on the you know beta blocker. I got the fucking CPAP machine at the pulmonologist, uh, and I go for my uh, endoscopy uh, August fifteenth. Uh, Good. So yeah, I got my, I got it all checked out. And you, the how dermatologist. Many d- how many days a week you're working out? Uh, it's I work out basically six days a week, but it's three workout days, like three circuit training days. One day's with him, yeah. and then on that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays I have to do the elliptical or the treadmill for a half an hour. Uh, Saturday's the same thing, treadmill elliptical, and then Sundays I'm off. But since we're off the road until August 11th, Red Bank, uh, Red Bank, New Jersey, we'll be doing are you garbage? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Since I'm off the road, I upped it to three days a week with him because I, I obviously perform better when he's, you know, on top of me. Right. Yeah. On top In of In a you. sexual way. <laughs> you guys fuck you on time. Just ride your cock. <laughs> Why, I'm eating pancakes? <laughs> it's not what you think. So, so good, man. I'm yeah, happy. Thank you. How much? You lost 30 pounds. I'm down about, I'd say, 25. I weighed myself today. I am uh, 382 or 84. I'm not I supposed think. to know that. We do a thing called Fat Court on the Patreon. Yeah. yeah. He owes me, he owes the company $5,000 due to a long, long, Long Why, story. You own your own company, five thousand dollars. Yeah, I got us kicked out of an Airbnb in L.A. when we were there. Why? Because I was smoking on the property, and you, we didn't get any of the money back. Are you a smoking? A smoking in the room? No, no, what, outside. What? It's a long story. I'm not divorced. <laughs> <with> the, <laughs> smoking That's in Lewis the room. Does. Lewis smokes pot in the room. Pot's different. Pot, pot guys. It is. That Why is, is that different? It doesn't. St- it, do- it. I'll try. Uh, Plus, it's a more pleasing aroma. Uh, that that that. Sig- I don't smoke pot, and I don't like it. E- either no. do I, but. No. Inside, it doesn't hang as mu- as long as cigs. Cigs are yeah. fucking in there. Cigs are in you. Yeah. All right. So I disagree. C- they shouldn't be smoking anywhere. These people are criminals. It says <laughs> no smoking, but uh, they did. They let up joints like it's. I yeah, know. It's, it's, a, it's a joint. What the fuck does that mean, you pothead? I know. I got a fucking towel to your stupidness. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm eating my bees. <laughs> <laughs> trying to Take eat my bee. diamonds in peace. You a got a fucking <laughs> reaper head over here. <laughs> You don't fucking do that at the ward off in fucking Amsterdam. You don't smoke. I bet you could smoke in that room if you wanted to. Yeah, they probably just probably like forty five hundred fucking uh, francs Jar- or something. Jared Leto just lights up. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. shit. Um, so you. But he ended up. He owes us money, right? Yeah. But why? I don't understand. So you, they told you not to smoke in on the property. Yes. Yeah. You can't smoke outside. It was in, in the hill. It we got a, a house in the, in the Hollywood Hills. And you, it run you can't. You're it not was an Am- It was uh, an Airbnb. An Airbnb. Yeah. And. They didn't give you. They kicked you out and didn't give you. Out, kicked us out the next morning. It was also a law. Like he, I'm I'm fighting with the guy via message. The guy's dickhead and whatever. It's a whole fucking thing. But I'm fighting with the guy via message, and he's going no smoking on the property. I go, hey man. And I started being a dick. I'm like, we haven't smoked, but we've been walking to the street to smoke, right? Because it says no smoking on the property. I'm respecting your fucking. Thing. I'm like, I'm like quoting his rules. I'm like, according to Article Four of Paragraph Nine, you can suck my dick. I got like I'm going at him because <laughs> we're drinking at the comedy store. And we're fucking, he's like, yeah, tell that guy to go suck a dick. I'm like, yeah, yeah, fuck you, man. He then just sends me a picture of him in the driveway, shirtless, smoking a cig. No description. I'm like, you fucking fat idiot. <laughs> so then we get booted the next morning, second yeah. night. We made up for it on merch, though. <laughs> Big selling yeah. like hotcakes, like <laughs> we, an A-team thermos. We, so I did take the picture and put it on a T-shirt to try to recoup some of the funds. <laughs> you fucking piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, this whole time you knew you smoked on the property. The guy's fucking, fucking spying on us. <laughs> Isn't that spying? There, there, hey, there, is dude, I just get that. I get that picture. Just comes on my phone. <laughs> just lit a cig, putting the lighter back in his pocket. <laughs> three in the morning. With my Russells on. That son of a bitch caught me with my Russells, Bobby. <laughs> Those are my leisure shorts. Uh, yeah, you look good, though. He does look. He looks like a fucking. He looks like chisel. It, it looks like an old wrestler. <laughs> he does. Yeah. I'm the fat ass. Now, do you uh, think I'm wearing underwear there or no? I don't no, think you're wearing underwear no, those now. Are shorts. <laughs> those God, are shorts. Holy shit. Um, yeah. So he owes the company. So then we had to get another uh, what? house for the week. Okay. Okay. So he owes the. Co- he owes the company five thousand. I love how much of a businessman you are. 
Well, t- you're a businessman. I'm also a better friend. But hold on, listen to this. I'm a yeah. better friend because I'm waving. I'm saying if you lose five pounds a month, first of all, he doesn't have the five thousand to pay the company. Okay, back. okay. okay. So but I you're go, saying what? I go. You're an installment, which is what I wanted to talk to you. About. You're in twelve. <laughs> If you have three friends, <laughs> that's Patreon.com, folks. Yeah. Uh, so he doesn't have the money. I can't let him go poor. I can't get him, you know what I mean? So right. I give him, uh, I go, you can make installments, four payments of $1,200 monthly. Shit. Due on the 15th. That's a lot. But no shit. if you come in five, away on the 15th, and if, the next month, if you come in five pounds lower, you don't owe the company anything. Right. I want him to lose weight. I don't want yeah. the money. I don't care yeah. about the money. You don't want Ian Finance over there just <laughs> fucking no, talking man. over fucking you. shoot myself after two episodes. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's the most lovable guy in the fucking oh, world. Oh, I know. I'm the, yeah, of yeah. course. I'm the, yeah, he's the he's the fat, fun one. I'm the mold, the, the mean, bold one, and I'll take I'm sitting right here. <laughs> I just called you fun. Yeah, he called you fat fun. <laughs> so still, he doesn't have to make the hurts, payments. Bobby. <laughs> if he comes in below, he doesn't have to make the payments. Really? Right? And I knocked out of the park the first month. I lost fucking like 20 pounds. You fucked up. You lost too much. I know. I know. You should have slow rolled that. That should have rolled me for the summer. Yeah. Yes. They're not any time minutes, all right? <laughs> <laughs> this you gotta got to use them or lose them. Got me on nights and weekends. <laughs> Anytime minutes, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't make I didn't make it the, the the last way, and I didn't make it. But I maintained losing did, all that weight. You didn't put any weight. weight on. Yeah, right. I didn't put any weight on. But this right. month it's going to be a different story. Why? Why is it going to be a different story? Because I put on forty pounds. You <laughs> put kidding. it back on. <laughs> I'm kidding. Did you put weight back on? No, not at all. I haven't put any weight back on. So you're maintaining it. I'm maintaining it, and yeah, now I'm in. If you need my help, I'm I'm serious. I'm saying this because I'm a fat fuck. Mm-hmm. I've been a fat. Fu- I'm an OG fat fuck. What to like split a pizza or something no. like that? What do you- <laughs> me and you meet me at bed. Listen to me. We'll get a grandma. Bobby, I can't that. finish these fries. Get over here. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> no, of course I'm I appreciate. You, that. Listen to me. I appreciate. That. If you need my help, Thank I'm you. not fucking kidding you. Thank you. If you need my help, because I'm I'm telling you right you got now, got five grand to get I, this guy <laughs> off my back. That's what the fuck. And secondly, I think I, I think it's only thirty six hundred at this point. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. If you need my help, I, you call me anytime, day Thank or night. You. I swear to God. Thank you. Day or night, call me, and I'll fucking I'll help you through the shit. Thank you. Because people don't understand how. Sends me an email back a week later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling I'm you. I'm in Copenhagen I, right now, fatty. I'm with Louis. Can you fucking eating hummingbirds? Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> hummingbirds. Why hummingbirds? That's such a great fucking. <laughs> um, I'm serious. I'm very here for well. You. I have to give it to him. He's doing. Thanks. He's doing fantastic. All on right. the road. He's really turned it around. It's 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 he's he's doing great. I'm very very proud. Thanks. It's the worst thing in the world. I, I do. It's I, the I fucking it worst. And I'm I'm a big motherfucker. Like you're, I would love to be your fat. I, I know. Because that's I, like I could get, I could lose that in uh, a month. A little skinny mini over there. Yeah. <laughs> like a swimsuit model. <laughs> like, dude, I mean, trying to fucking clean your asshole is a nightmare. Yeah, that sucked. That's gone. That was brutal. Right. Oh, it was brutal. People don't understand that you try to. You gotta wipe your butt. It's like you're gonna unhinge your rib. But I know I did it. It's my fault. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's it's not that you did it. That's great. But it's how to get out of it. The 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 you can't get out of it. Mm-hmm. And then you you everything you watch on the thing is, dude, just do it. Mm-hmm. Fuck your fuck your mother and do it. You know, just pick up a kettlebell and and raise it over your head. What? It's not as simple. It's, no, it's tough. It, there's a lot of emotional stuff that goes into it. There's a lot of like, you yes, know, it, yeah. I did therapy. All. I did therapy for about four months to try to figure it out, which it, I think I did. It's a, it's. I'm glad you figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> and first of all, he canceled about three months of those four months, <laughs> and still thinks he's figured it out. I'm just saying, dude. It, it, the the struggle. I'm in the struggle right now, and I'm done with it. I'm I, yeah, I'm done with it. To, too. I feel like I'm you out. have to get to that point. You have to get to a point where you're like, I'm. I can't do that. Like, I need to change. Like, if you yeah. want, you can want to. I've been wanting to change. For, I mean, I was fat up until I was, you know, 29 years old. Yeah. I was really fat, yeah. you know, and it was like, you have to, like, I wanted to tr- change so many. Like, today is the day, but it's like, yeah. you really have to get to a point where, you're like, this is it. You have to hit a bottom move, like yeah, a drug addict, like an alcoholic. And, and, what you got to do I'm is get in the hole five G's to your buddy. That's what you got to <laughs> do. <laughs> that makes you eat more. <laughs> <laughs> that makes you just say, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you're too funny to you know fuck around. Thank you. You know, and you guys, you you did it. Thank you. Got it. Thank so you. fucking, you know, it's uh, usually you know, 
that thing that pops like I can do stuff now. Mm-hmm. I can go here. I can buy that. I can, mm-hmm. and and it doesn't. It's good. I'm okay. Yeah. You know, my whole career is like I I had to do this and that because I couldn't get food. I couldn't eat that. I couldn't. I had to eat at the club, you know. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. all of a sudden, I was like, "Dude, I can order whatever the well, we're fuck I want." We're kind of in that honeymoon phase where we'll go out together, like on the road or whatever, yeah. or somewhere or to dinner. If like you know something cool happens, like we went out after Louis, we're like, "Let's go, we let's go get a fucking nice Gallagher's. dinner." Yeah, and we sit down. It's like we are because we're two fat people genetically, you know. Yeah, and our, our makeup. We're like, let's get. We were two. We were sitting there, and we were both going to order two appetizers each. So we're going to get four. And I'm like, "What are we doing? Just yeah, fucking pull it's, it back. It's, pull it back. We we don't. We, need we're four appetizers. we're always celebrating, and we're always rewarding. I said that to my wife today. When I I go to it for stress. Yep. I go to it for reward. Yep. I go to it if I'm fucking angry. Yep. I go to it when I'm sad. And it's like you have. I, I shake it of going like, "Fuck it! I I just got to stop. I'm in control. Once it's you get a little bit of the cash, right?" And I'm not talking a lot. No, and dude, just once you get a little bit like, enough to where you go, to go and not be poor. let's go to a steakhouse, and then you can just go order whatever the fuck you want. It's a, it's a, it's a bad place to be for yeah. me. Yeah, and it fucked me up. I mean, my my knee is fucked up. I finally got it back, but uh, is that from orgasm? It's from being fat. Oh, all my shit. I'm telling you, I'm 51. I know I look fantastic. You look great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, great skin. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Good eyebrow. <laughs> uh, thank you. I just saw old sexy Bobby pics. I love it. <laughs> but then all, all of a sudden stuff started. I've always been able to lose that 30 sure. pounds. I could put it on and fucking wipe it away. Mm-hmm. I can't do it this time. Yeah. I'm on a liquid diet now. I'm, really? I'm Dude, I'm on protein shakes and bone broth, and then I'm switching it up. Bone and then, broth's all right. And then I'm going to no sugar, no grains. Th- this summer... I'm telling you, I'm done. Yeah, I'm fu- I'm I'm out. Is that what's in there? Bone broth and that thing? No, that's Crystal Light. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious, though. That you're such a fatty. You've been looking at that. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> no, that I thought I smelled something. <laughs> Is that soup? <laughs> it's just a big flurry. <laughs> Is that? You know what? If I'm carrying around for warm, I don't know what you're room doing. temperature. Bro. You're a rich guy. I don't know. You're eating in Copenhagen. <laughs> now, Louis rich. I'm not rich. Yeah, that guy does all right. But good. I'm glad you're. Uh, I'm glad you're on top of it, man. Thanks, pal. And I'm gonna call you, dude. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking keep on you. Thank you. I ain't gonna. I'm. And, and I know what you're saying. And good for you to fucking doing it. I'm proud of you. Thanks, pal. I, I know it sucks when you're trying and trying. Everybody's like, dude, you got to do something. You got to do something. Yeah. And you're doing it. So fucking good on you. Yeah. It's all it is, man. Just keep doing it. Get Both a couple of slices and celebrate. Huh? No, there listen. You know. what? You're what? not hearing us. <laughs> I'm done with pizza, buddy. I wish I, yeah. I'd I'm done. Do the same thing, dude. Food is like this fucked up thing. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like, you know, sex. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Food. Yeah. McDonald's. McDonald's is all right. What's your favorite thing? What's your favorite right now? If you could just grab something, what would it be? Well, here's the thing. I've lost that. I'm, I'm, I'm losing that more and more. If I take an edible or something like that and like stimulates my, my hunger. You know, I, I my, my my eyes starts wandering a little bit. Yeah. But the 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 pleasure that I get from it is gone because of you know how late it is in the game and you know what I mean. I it just you feel the guilt to it. It doesn't. I always felt the guilt. Um. But I just push through it. Uh. It just doesn't <laughs> do the athlete. same thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> push through it. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite thing though? What is like if you could get something? I like fish tacos. Um. <laughs> Why would you bring a? Oh, you fucking hurt my chest. <laughs> Why would you bring a fucking fish taco? I don't know. It stunk so bad. I thought I'd bring it back up again. <laughs> what? Uh, Mickey D's. Mickey D's. The fucking McDouble. Really? Yeah. Do it my way. Yeah. I like Mickey. It. Not a smash burger or a, a Shake Shack. I mean, they're great too. I, I mean, they've come. They've come up with so many but new. It, it's in, an In and Out burger. It's. In, <laughs> it's on the inside. What, dude, Mickey D's though. My first memory is going to a McDonald's for somebody's birthday. Right, I remember those. Yeah, they were all right. They had them in the basement. <laughs> he turned on late. <laughs> Lights came on late in this house. I was on Molly when I was in. <laughs> you, you were a comic. <laughs> that, was, that was a road gig. That was in Dover. <laughs> I was yeah. opening up for the Wiggles. <laughs> the Wiggles. <laughs> what are they called? The, the Wid. The what? Uh, no, the kid group. The Wiggles. The Wiggles. What are they called? Why do you, why do you have kids? No. Why do you know the Wiggles? Ah, they're big hits. I don't know. Um, I like their old stuff. Dude, for me, 
for me on the road is uh, is pizzas and shit like that. You know, sure. it's tough, Boxes. especially you. You're, you know, I mean, it's like the old comic trope, but it's like you get done late. There's not a lot of options open. You didn't. Yeah, you're all like, you're all jazzed up. You can't fucking get a hooker. You can't get fucking coke. You can't fucking cheat on your girlfriend. You can't do nothing. What are you gonna do? Well, I was at my house the other night after Have a the salad. Premiere. I was in my underwear with one sock on, uh, <laughs> watching Reacher with a crystal light, and I looked at my wife and go, "I was just in Europe." Mm-hmm. I shot a special, mm-hmm. and I was just at a movie premiere that I was in the movie, and this is how anticlimactic this shit yeah. business is. I know. Well, no wonder why I stuff my face. I know. It's, it's tough, man. What happened yeah. to your sock? <laughs> I don't know. I think the dog, <laughs> the dog took it off. <laughs> I, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, but it's gets, it gets rough, man. At this point, my, my, um, I quit the sugar. It's great. And my joints immediately feel better. Really? Immediately. A week, it's been a week and I haven't had any sugar. And all of a sudden, I, it's fucking weird. Yeah. My joints, my knee is better. Mm-hmm. I can actually uh, bend down. I can I can put my shoes on. Like stand on one leg and put the sneaker on without it hurting. Uh, eliminating sugar. That's great. Yeah, and the carbs, fucking gone. And it, it fixes me. I don't know what it does. It might, I don't, I, I know the, the angriest trainer, the Vinny Tortorich on Facebook, he swears by it, and he's great, and it, it, it fixed me. It fixes me immediately. Um, I don't know why. I've been walking. I wake up in the morning, I just walk. There you go. I walk for 20 minutes, mm-hmm. and then I come back in. I do that rubber band workout, Yeah. and then uh, and that's it, and I'm done, but I'm out. So I'm glad that you guys are uh, That was above, like Before thanks, the pal. pandemic, I was I sold a day job, so I would work for, you know, leave the house at 9 a.m., mm-hmm. go work all day, yeah. go do spots, you're running around the city. Yeah. So it's like I was out for fucking 18 hours a day or something crazy. Right. And I was like, I was just naturally burning you yep. know, calories. But now it's like I fucking wake up, I take an Uber to the studio, we fucking we get lunch, we Uber back. It's like I've taken like nine yeah. steps. It's like my whole I have to realize my whole life has changed. I have to make up for that, you know. Yeah, or just start fucking walking again. I know. Stop oh, fucking, I mean. I'm fat and lazy and old, and now I have some money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pussy, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so you guys are touring now. I want to talk about this real yeah. quick. Thank you. You got. <laughs> <laughs> I was at, that was to the producer, not to you, Bobby. <laughs> Sometimes it's like. I, Why does I he admit, thank everybody? He, he it's almost annoying. He doesn't know where he is a lot of the time. Why? Like, he just comes to, and he goes, oh, thank you, please. And like you're like, what are you even talking about? I got about? bone broth on the brain. <laughs> You want a sip? I it's, swear it's not it's, bone broth. It's crystal. I believe you. All right. Do you have it warm or do you have it cold? What bone broth? Yeah. Warm, hot, right. yeah, hot. It's, it's like soup. so, like soup. It's soup. But you're drinking it. I drink it. Where do you get it from? You getting like just like from it, the, have any from the grocery <laughs> store? <laughs> I, you got a bone broth guy? You buy a little container of it. Yeah, it's, the yeah. things and that it, my mom makes soup with. You, no. but well, no, it's bone broth is a better. I like. I'll mix it with like beef broth. A vegetable broth and bone broth, because bone broth is pretty intense. This guy's eating bullion cubes. It's fucking wacky. I'm telling you, dude. Yeah. It fucking it. it has a lot of protein in it, uh, and I good like collagen I drink stuff the, in it. Yeah, a lot I of drink stuff the like protein shakes, Premier Protein or Isopure Protein. Okay, and it healed I, in a week. It healed everything. Hmm. Fucking swear. There you go. All right, I'll let you know at the end of the summer when you see me at the end of the summer. You guys, I want you to come back on. Sure. Uh, in in September, come back on, and we'll see where what what it did. But th- I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, that's and, great. And uh, I'm excited about it because I'm out. I'm tapping out of the fat game. Sexy yeah, Bobby's I'm coming here. back. Oh, I man. might I might be with Steve Burns wearing a suit on stage, <laughs> <laughs> lying down in front of shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you guys are touring. So what's the show? Uh, we each, it's, it's pretty much a stand-up show. We each co-headline, we co- we each, we co-headline, and then we close out the show together taking, uh, que- a, like, are you garbage questions from the audience. But who, who, who goes up first? I do, and then he brings me back up with, like, you guys ready to play a little are you garbage? And then, you know, like, he's, like, kind of, like, we do it so he's, like, he's kind of introing the how, how did you figure out, because stand-up is so good... That was there ever a time where the stand up kind of headline, like it did, like you, the show? Does the show always work after the stand up? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we've, 
like Schultz told us because like we were getting ready to go on the road, and Schultz has you know been a you know helped us a lot with just like understanding stuff, and yeah, what to do. Um, and I was like, dude, we want to go on the road, and I was like, I don't know, should we book like a stand up show or end a live pod like you know before or after or the next day or whatever? And he goes, just do fucking. He goes, live pods are for people who can't do stand up. He goes, go do. He goes, you each co headline. And then close out for 20 minutes at the end, dicking around with the crowd. Right. So Yeah, it's fun. That's what we did with Creeps with Kids. It's worked, yeah. And we did a show, and then at the end, we went up, and Ron kind of corralled us. Yeah, you just dick around. People loved it. They love it. And, like, the biggest thing is nobody, we were introduced as podcasters, like, from the show. Right. right? Like, it's not like. Well, they don't know you guys as stand ups? They do, but they've never seen it. Right. I mean, like, you know, if you take, like, Tuesdays with Stories or something, it's like they're both known as stand ups, -ups, you know. But we were just... That's awesome that they don't know. So they don't... Because then you guys get to go out and fucking just murder. They're like, what? They're like, I didn't know you were that good. They're like, we love the pod, but your stand-up was so good. Yeah. That's all you want to hear as a stand-up is like... Yeah. Oh, we're, yeah, thank you. We are good. So well, that's good for them, too, because they're not expect The expectations are low. Mm-hmm. And be, they don't know that you guys are fucking hilarious yeah, stand-ups. Yeah, it's kind of easy, so you can just kind of go out and... Right. How much time do you do? 25, 30? 25s. Wow. Yeah. What a fucking gig. 25 minutes, and then you do 20 minutes of the stand-up. I mean, of the, of the of the podcast. Together, yeah. And then you just close it out. Close it and out. And then do you go out and meet them? Of the course. Meet greet, the meet and greets are like as long as the fucking show. Yeah. Is. We meet wow. everybody. That's yeah, great. Shout out to the homies and the bozos. Oh, that's it's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's cool for us because, like, we're ex- this is our first run through this. So, like, we're fucking stoked. They're like, oh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm like, no, we want to meet you. Right. This is fucking super cool for us. This is the coolest I've ever felt. Yeah, yeah that's weird. Like, like it, I always thought in my head meeting people after shows was, I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then real famous people are like, I don't fucking, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I guess maybe get to a level. I don't know. But, like, I enjoy, I, I, it's fucking awesome. They all come up. They have like a quick joke or something, and it's like you like shit on them. It's, yeah, we love know, it. It's, it's a lot. I love it too. I love it. We did that creeps with kids thing. Mm-hmm. Boss was so miserable. He would sit down and just stare at people. He like hated yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> and then for pictures, look at every picture we took on creeps with kids. It's oh, boss yes. is like this, <laughs> just pissed off. Yeah, yeah. I guess his back was out. Go mm-hmm. fuck yourself, <laughs> Chris. Rum. Ron Bennington's fucking older than you, you fuck. <laughs> exactly. Chrissy D said that Artie uh, Lang told him that if you give somebody a couple of seconds, you got a fan for life. If you ignore yeah. them, you're going to lose it. You know, if you try to act like a dick, you're going to lose a fan for he life. Actually, all, all, he actually, what he really says, is if you give a guy a couple of seconds, you can get heroin every week. <laughs> 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 all right, listen, man. Um, I got a bunch of questions from my fans sure. for you. Okay. Awesome. Uh, we're going to get to um, a couple things I wanted to talk about before we get into that. Um, did you see the, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are a fan of the uh, hot dog eating contest. Uh, yeah. I saw, yeah. Did you see that fucking? Joey Chestnut's fucking <sighs> yoked that dude out. Reacted quick. Yeah. Joey Chestnut's in shape. Dude, he fucking, it looked like he ripped, the, took that guy's head off. And he, plus he was in, he was on crutches. He's on. He's got a bad leg. Mm-hmm. He's up there in a hot, hot dog eating competition. He's about thirty fucking hot dogs deep. He's thirty. I think he was like thirty five, and he's winning. I eat two. I'm asleep for eight hours. I know. I I'm crash. A, oh, I'm what done. is that? Is there anything better than a food coma? Ooh, the pancake coma is probably the. Oh, Ooh, just eating night. so much where you go. Yeah, it's fall right on the couch. And then you wake up. Like 20 minutes later, it doesn't like, feel that good. good. Uh, <laughs> it feels horrible. Yeah, you're all sweaty. Your hair's your toes all are numb. Up. Feels like he's got chemo. He fucks this, this dude is up. I don't know. He reacts so quick. Oh, he was so. He, he wanted to rip his head up. Yeah. Look at him. And he goes he, right back to eating. Yeah, of course he does. He had a fistful of mush. He did. <laughs> he had a handful of hot dog. This right guy, back. what a fucking dick, though. He bumps him out of the yeah, way. Yeah, like a dick. Steps on his fucking bad leg. What a piece of shit. He did. He like. He gave torque like it was like like a Bruce oh. Lee type thing. Where like yeah, he wanted to fucking rip his head off. He uh-huh. ripped his dumb mask off. He's eating. Watch. Look at the mask. Boom. <laughs> Falls Man. off. Fucking idiot. He even knocked the guy over next to him. Yeah, that's guy, how much fucking momentum he had there. The guy, that guy oh. in the hat. The nineteen twenties got Nucky Tom. You know what? Look at these dummies in the background on the right though. Look at they're they're pussies though. They know they're not getting in fucking. They're not, they're, they're not fucking with the black dude and the guy with the mohawk. Look at him. They're just in the back. Oh, I didn't even notice the other two. Yeah, there's three. The white storm. One. Yeah. The old timey guy jumps. There's in there. one. No, two, he's and there's the another one. Pro- the two oh, there's two. Yeah. yeah. There's two on the right. See him? Exposed but they're pussies. Something. Oh fuck! I, oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, they're pussies though. They, they walked up like, the dude, I ain't fucking with these guys. What is they're it? Stormtroopers. 
Exposed. What does what? this mean? Exposed. What? what? Does anybody? I know figured it was like a like a pita thing. But I could a, be wrong. It, it's a, there's a food processing plant um, that uh, they say is uh, pretty bad news in that town, whatever it is, uh, Mithfield, whatever Mithfield, it is. Oh, exposed Mithfield's Death Star. Yeah. You, I, I just want to ask you a question. Mithfield. Do you think that that those people made it out of there unharmed? Uh, Coney Island. Oh, I don't know. Coney Island, Fourth of July, ruining this, their their. Their claim to fame. Fourth of July, Brooklyn, at the hot dog Nathan's hot they dog eating got competition. Up. Do you think they got tuned up like like Vegas back in the day, or you think they made it out of there? Uh, it depends. I don't know. Is it? Is they that like a lot of shit working together? First of all, they're dressed up like fucking Star Wars characters. That's got to be strike number one yeah. out there. Well, see, <laughs> yeah. I don't. But the, is that illegal? Like could the cop? Like I mean, you're not supposed to go on stage during that. Why? That's not a law. Is that huh? a law? Yeah, you. I mean, dude, you. You're can't. not allowed to go on the. That's not a law, though. That's what oh, I'm, I'm saying. I'm sorry. What are you, a fucking pita? <laughs> Who are you? What do you don't believe in America? Huh? You don't like hot dogs? It's a real fucking. commie talk coming <laughs> yeah, out of me. Dude, shit. What the fuck? Who is this guy? Yeah, fucking Putin. I guess <laughs> I thought I knew him, Bobby. What the fuck's going on? This guy. You're saying that's not illegal. There's no law of like you. you- I, let me ask you a question. You, as a fucking human being, an adult American, it's wrong. Human being, Hang on. I'm like one of those guys who defends, like, you know. Yeah, I know. You're like fucking, fucking the, the you, you, there's a There's a barrier. There's something going on. There's the people doing it, the concert, the hot dog eating competition, and then you. Sure. Are you, should you go up there? I'm not saying you should or shouldn't, but I don't think that's illegal. Oh, my God. Who is he? I mean, I had. I mean, I don't think it's a it, good defense attorney could get those, Yeah, those could get that charge again. thrown out. Yeah. What are you going to charge them with? I'm Storming a, the hot dog? Pa- stage? How about this? That's not in the penal code. A fu- there's a party pooper fucking law. <laughs> <laughs> this l- guy stinks. They ruined the fucking party, <laughs> sir. Your did Honor, you, did you <laughs> or did you not not take part in the macarena? <laughs> <laughs> he would have done seventy three hot dogs. It's true. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Could have had the record. Yeah. I'm fucked sure. up his whole competition. I'm sure the hot dog lobby has can pull some strings <laughs> to get them hemmed up. I'm sure the goons out there at Cody Allen tuned those guys up a little yeah. bit. I hope so. I hope they got a nice the hot fucking dog up their ass. beating. Now that makes me fucking <laughs> sick than a fucking stupid protest. I love a I love a good uh street justice. Or like you oh. had it coming. My mom, yes. that's even in my family. My mama hit you. You had it coming. I would tell her like I got like punched in the face at a bar. What were you doing? You're in a bar <laughs> drinking. You had it coming. Yeah. It's like very like you get what you sow. Street you justice is my favorite thing to look uh, on the internet. Oh, like or like bullies getting beat oh, up. Oh, bullies love getting fucking that. punched. Yeah. Oh, I fucking love it. <coughs> I fu- I love it. People, people like uh, like Karens, and then the cops show up and see them just change their tune. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. Love. Nice. A nice guy, hey, man, I don't want to fight. And the guy's like, fuck you. And then the guy who says, I don't want to, just punches him in the face and knocks it's him out. It's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, if anybody so. say, if you're, if you're about to square off with somebody says, and they say, hey, man, I don't want to fight you, that guy's going to kick your fucking ass. <laughs> that guy's going to beat are, your You know what's real? What, uh, I don't want to do this. I mean, yeah. I can do this. I don't want to do yeah. this. I don't want to do this. And this is already predetermined yes. that you're going to get <laughs> fucked up. Okay? I don't want to do this. this. I don't want to do what I'm about to do to you. You're if making you, me do this. If you don't stop and go, what is this? <laughs> you're not a smart man. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Put your shirt back on and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Find another Applebee's to go to. Yeah, smoking in the fucking driveway, shirtless. What's wrong with you? I want one of those shirts. Yeah, yeah, Three X. I want one. <laughs> um, all right. Well, listen. Uh, what's this thing where you got you got uh, you you got DM from Wawa? Oh yeah, Wawa hit me up. Um, I we have a cup. I bought a mug. They have like a thermos that I yeah. bought like for the for our set. It's sure. on our table. And they saw it, I guess, somewhere. It came across their radar. Right. So they were like, hey, can we send you some stuff? Or can we Ooh. send you something? Ooh, isn't that the best? I know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's going to be like a gift card. or like You haven't gotten it yet? No, it just, just happened. I hope it's a soft pretzel. <laughs> They're not Six-foot hoagie coming to the fucking studio. Fucking perishables. You, dude, you're supposed to be on a diet. We just had a talk. Are you fucking hoping for perishables? A multigrain, whatever they got. Uh, there's no multigrain pretzel. What's wrong with you? They don't have multigrain th- Cheez-Its. That's <laughs> what they give you on the plane. Dude, you don't get... You're not supposed, they stink. You're not supposed to eat the food on a plane. Okay. <laughs> I'll remember that for... for I'll next remember after the next flight. <laughs> for next time. Bring your own snacks, man. Yeah, carrots, something. Not a carrot. Also, <laughs> chocolate. we bees. get flagged. I finally... I mean, dude, we've traveled. It's been like 38 city or 40 cities. Yeah. 
I finally just got him to get fucking TSA pre-check. Like, just. You did? Just. Oh, oh my living, man. God. Just. But, like, I'm talking, like, we've traveled the country, and he, I've been waiting for him. You got to get him clear. What? Clear. Baby, baby steps. Baby steps. Uh, he still keeps getting flagged because he brings an industrial size <laughs> canister Wait, of Metamucil. And they don't know. Why? It looks like he's bringing in seven gallons of fucking anthrax on the plane. Why are you bringing in Every time. <laughs> they keep they the engine running. They got a bomb well, I'm did. sorry, to keep the engine running. Dude, Metamucil is the worst thing in the world for you. I don't think it is. Apps 100%. Who told you that? Bone broth guy? What are we <laughs> Big bone you. broth is talking. Dude, Metamucil fucking just rips away the inside of your stomach, all the, the good proteins inside your and stomach. And bacteria and stuff. And I, would, I you could up. imagine. I'm telling it's you, cleaning you out. It gives, you, it gives you nice doo-doos, though. It gives you nice doo-doos, <laughs> but it fucks yeah, you so up. Taco you're Bell, not supposed right? to take it like Tums, you piece of shit. You're supposed to take I it. Ta- he I sprinkles take it. it on his eggs in the morning. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> Is that your orange juice, you cocksucker? <laughs> I take it every night. Every night, Metamucil? Yeah, yeah you might yeah. want to look into that. That might not be That's good. That's not good, dude. Okay. Yeah, don't do that. That's All for right. like when you're jammed up. It's yeah, not they like use a daily... that, they use that for operations. Yeah, it's not like a it's not like a daily supplement. Yeah, okay. I don't think anyway. You're supposed to be able to shit on your own. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, dude. So look no, that no up. No cheese its. No cheese. No. Wait. As <laughs> oh, a not. dietary supplement, we can be taken every day up to three times per day. Yeah. Look who wrote that? that? Metamucil. dot <laughs> com. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Suck a dick. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? My coke dealer said the same thing. By the way. <laughs> yeah. You can do two grams a day. All right. All right. <laughs> so they're sending you haven't got it yet. I haven't gotten it yet. I had to oh. fill out uh like this questionnaire online for like, you know, whatever. Don't you hate that? Yeah. I'm like, just it's fucking like that tell me what I'm getting. Questionnaire. They, I think it was like size, location, yeah. whatever, whatever. Instagram handles or something Let's like that. Go What's ship the hoogies. Hang on one sir. Did you back up? What? Did you back up as yes. Oh God. Hang on. Uh oh. Yes. I'm on a podcast. I'm Bobby's pod- empire is crumbling at, with one text. Oh, it's my wife. She- she doesn't give a fuck. Oh, no. Doesn't care. What'd she say? Did you back up what? His iPad. Okay. His iPad. I, I, I don't talk about it. We're podcasting. We're doing here. very well right now. Okay. I'm in love with my wi- wi- wife. Wi- right. My wife again. Mm-hmm. I'm really fucking into her again. It's great. I don't know if, you, you, if that happens, if you know about that, but... You get in, Married and then you TV. get out, and then you get in. I'm, I'm back in love with her again. I think I want to bang her again. There you go. You know you what go. I mean? That's why I want to lose some weight. I want to lose all the weight. I want to fucking get two sleeves, take some jujitsu, up. get a fucking moped, and fuck my wife. Yeah. Sleeves? Yeah. You mean the stomach sleeve? No, my fucking oh, tattoos, okay. you fat fuck. Get two of them for both of his stomach. <laughs> that bone broth's really having an effect I on I want to get two sleeves. This guy's got I'm three so stomachs fat. now. <laughs> Eating soda cans and shit, whatever he's grazing on. Ah, oh, fuck me. All right, listen, <laughs> we're going to go to question. Bobby grass-fed or grass <laughs> It was 100% grass-fed Bobby right here. Forgot him in butcher box. Shout Girl out to Coke Free Coke. Range Bobby, huh? <laughs> Wild caught. If you guys didn't have your own podcast, I would have you on every week. <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. You guys are so fucking funny. I, I mean, your, your blood sugar drops at the end, like oh, an hour. Oh, man. An hour. <laughs> we're, we're catching the fucking tail. You like were you. grilling me about being a big Somebody get him a pig. ring pop. I'm pretty Quick. sure he had to put gum in his mouth just to fucking finish this podcast. <laughs> He gets all loopy. He doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. The first time we, the first time we did your, can podcast, I get a Metamucil in here, please? The cracker. First time we did YKWd back in the day, yeah, years and years ago, yeah. You were like, uh, back when Scopa was, still, oh my still god, running the shop. You were like, uh, we were because we do work quick. We we tag yeah. and we, and you're like, <laughs> I saw we tagged a joke like 17 times. I saw you go from like, oh, this, this is fun. These guys are good to like hating it immediately. And you're like, oh, you really are a fucking tag factory, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, that one hurts. Ah, it was all right. You guys, you guys figured it out. Sure. <laughs> you like seven tags this time. That's the most you did. I like that. I like it. He licks his mouth. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, all right, we got questions for you from my fans, uh-huh. who are your fans, by okay. the way. Love that. Uh, by love that. Quest- Thank oh, you, yeah. gang. Yeah, they fucking. <laughs> I love the yeah. eight frosting glasses you got. I there. can't see anymore, dude. <laughs> why didn't you, Bobby- you get the big ones? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've made that joke when he was on. God the show. damn it, <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Kelly had a food and beverage. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Bobby Kelly Show. <laughs> it's a deep casino cut. <laughs> 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 I apologize for the fish tacos and making the joke twice. Fish tacos was terrible. Uh, now, I, now, terrible. Hey, before you I don't mind a, the joke. I just the fact that you brought it up seriously. Sure. As a snack. Yeah. 
You did notice he now he's no longer in thank you mode. He's he's in yeah. sorry mode. So he's gonna say sorry. Yeah, it's like fifteen live, times in the next. The only minutes. way I'd accept that joke is if we all we lived in Key West. <laughs> That'd be an acceptable fucking snack. <laughs> you a fish tacos, guys? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. noon. You like key lime pie? You a key lime? No, pie? no. But do you I like? I fucking hate it. it. Wait, really? Hundred percent. I'm I'm looking right at you. It's crazy. Key lime pie. We went to Key West, and uh, I got key lime pie. I I got two of them. I gave them to Mike Powell to eat both of them. Two of them. Yeah, I thought I was gonna love it. Yeah, let me make sure. <laughs> give me, give me another one. <laughs> Get away! I swear to God, I got what? <laughs> Goodbye. Get away! Not a pie guy. I'm not a key lime. What's a? I don't what? even know what it is. I love it. Sucks. It's fluffy, airy. It's refreshing. It's no good. It's not refreshing. The way pie is refreshing. No, brushing <laughs> your teeth. That's the fattest shit I've yeah. ever heard. Yeah, brushing your and teeth. We got a meatball sub. I'm feeling yeah. spry. A, a shower is re- refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking fat fuck. Not a piece. Of pie. Not a chicken parm sandwich, dude. <laughs> this my, this dude, my that salad meatball, is very That meatball refreshing. sub was refreshing. Ah, <laughs> dude, that <laughs> really took the edge off. It's refreshing. <laughs> Woo. Okay, scruffy Lemonade bones. Lemonade is refreshing. Scruffy bones. Uh, uh. Ready? They want to know how, how are the Patreon sales going. Well, True to roof. Good. True, True to roof. roof. There you go. Okay. Uh, Fahad Aquad Antinanini. Okay. He's Irish. Uh, <laughs> how was interviewing the legend Louis C.K.? It was fantastic. It yeah. was awesome. We it's were wild. We were, you know, nervous. We were, we were shitting in our pants. Were you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. I, I've never met him, and I didn't know what, it, I didn't know what he meant to me. Like, in the sense of just, like, comedic influence and, like, right. on the industry. And I don't know. It was also a guy I thought I would never meet. You know what I mean? Yeah. By the time I started doing okay, yeah, he was, you know, it's like he's so far ahead and then kind of, you know, reclused a little bit. Right. I was like, I'll never fucking cross paths with this guy. Yeah. And that, to sit down with him was crazy. Yeah, that show had a huge impact on me. Yeah. It had a huge impact on me. I mean, obviously, that's, you know, you were so brilliant in it. I told him that. It's fucking... How unbelievable! Oh, yeah, he was you ball are. washing you to Louis after. That. Oh, hundred percent. And oh, I yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't a fan, but you know, that's true. <laughs> he was I making that him. show when I was fucking coming up in the village, and I was fucking waiting tables in yeah. his neighborhood, and I yeah. would stay out all night, and I would sleep on a park bench in front of the place that I waited tables at, and I'd wake up and fucking see Louis walking his kids to fucking school, and then I would see them shooting it and stuff like that, and I'd see him walking by, and you know, all that stuff. Those three late night episodes where he tries to take over uh, the Late Show. I mean, I watched them every couple of weeks. That fucking Gary Marshall speech, yeah, fucking all the time. But the I, thing that I made with uh, Irene Morales, that was d- directly influenced, you know, right. by him. You know, the way we shot it and everything. That right. show, it's a huge fucking deal. That show meant so much to us. We were in the village, you know, around the corner at the Lantern and shit, trying to get fucking shows off and trying to do, you know bar shows and people were barking and shit. And then this was the cellar was closed, and that was at the height of that show. Was like the you know blew the cellar up and it was like made it so prestigious. We're like yeah. we just want to fucking be like and then to know you and you were on that show. We were like it was like some I, we barely knew you but like we're like right. fucking Bobby killed it like right. it was an extension into that world you know. And then to be in the room with them and that's, I, I, yeah. I cried I, the next day. I cried. I cried. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's fucking. We great. both did. He, would, he would call me every ten minutes crying. Oh, but man. yeah, it meant it meant a lot to us. Right. For sure. You know what I mean? Oh, you that's know? fucking great. I yeah, love I that. That's why I love like what he does. Louis does. He he's very inclusive. It's a cool Ed- and he's a cool guy. He's not he's not above, uh, um, you know. He's not he's not, he is a little recluse once in a while. But mm-hmm. he's he, to go on your show and with Joe and oh yeah, it was awesome. That's fucking and great. Shout out yeah. to fucking Joe List. Yeah. Joe's what the a, fucking best. We fucking love him to death. He, he is he is the best. The I best. love Joey. And he, he really was brilliant. Is. And just like on a larger scale, it's yeah. like I'm you know it's exciting that like. You know, is he going to start making more of these and fucking and just, you know, pushing through? It's like it's so cool to see him doing that, like coming back with a fucking movie like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. It was great. And I know we were we were blowing you, but it, it, no, it's that, great. It's no. that fucking good. I'm very happy. It makes me happy because. Uh, yeah, man. I can't wait. I'm going to I'm going to listen to the episode we when get I go it. home today. Yeah, we love I'm it. excited for you guys. OK, great. John. This is from John. OK, that's it. Is it uh, garbage to refuse to take off your shoes when a friend asks you to at their house? <laughs> I think it's garbage to ask someone to take your shoes. Sure. Fuck yes. Unless they're, like, very close. Like Unless you're him, Japanese. The, yeah, then obviously. If you're Japanese, that's, by all that's means. cultural. Yeah. But, like, if yeah. he's coming over to my house. <laughs> I don't think it is. That's such an 80s thing. Dude, no, Japanese is, people, they have I a seen Donnie Brasco, all right? <laughs> yeah. They did it in that movie. Uh, I wouldn't ask a... a uh, somebody who's coming over for dinner, 
hey, take your fucking shoes off and let's sit down and eat fucking fish tacos. Crazy. Uh, my sock game is weak most of the time. Yeah, yeah my sock game is never on yeah. point. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if they're the same sock a lot of the time. <laughs> That's one of our original I, I, Are You Garbage questions. Yeah. Are both your socks matching right now? It's, it's bad. To ask somebody, Duke, you take your shoes off, you're, you're a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're a dick to ask. Yeah, you, you, like- you're a, you saw something on the internet or somebody told you some stupid shit and you don't know how life fucking works. I get at a certain age, too. It's like, yeah, if you're a kid running around playing in the yard or whatever, take your fucking shoes off before yeah. you come in the house. But as an adult, to take my fucking yeah. shoes off is crazy. Yeah, here's the thing: not ha- not wearing. I mean, we don't wear shoes in the house. Like I have to take my shoes off when I walk into my house. Right. You know what I mean? But if like if somebody came over, I wouldn't say, "Hey, take your shoes off." No, you roll the dice on that. I take my shoes off when I go to my house. Yeah, yeah. But if you came over my house, you don't have to take your shoes yeah, off. Take them off. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Good fuck for you. Yeah. I feel we're all on the same page. Steve, is it garbage to wear a Rolex but drive an economy SUV? Is that a shot at somebody? I don't know if it's me. I drive a fucking Ford truck, so you can go suck your dick if you, you got a Rolex. Me. Fuck yeah! Holy shit! I got fucking two. Listen, I uh, I want to get a fake one. I think then he's talking. Could be talking. He could be talking about Voss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not a watch guy. Oh, I know. I who, get it. I know. Though. That's an investment, though. I that, think Steve, that goes up in value. <laughs> Steve might be a friend of mine. This guy <laughs> saw me drive my wife's Honda CRV. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> oh, fuck yourself! Is it garbage to have a hernia in your throat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, any you know, owning a car is pretty classy. It depends. It's just, listen, yeah, I, I if don't, you get, if you can have a Rolex, I go. Yeah, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, fucking Rolex. Yeah. You get a Rolex, you get a Rolex. I'm a watch guy. I love fucking watches. I'm not. But when I am, I'm movement. What do you mean? What'd you just say? (laughs) Movement. It's a watch brand. Is that dance? (laughs) What? No, MVMT. It's a sponsor. (laughs) Promo code. Oh, sorry. sorry, Skippy likes the Lombada. (laughs) I I think I know who Steve is. Steve, go fuck yourself. Yes. You drive a Toyota. Can I ask how much that was? Is it, this and I apologize for the throat hurting you, Joe. It's, it's so it's funny. It's like you it. just put it on. I can't not stare I know. at it now. It's like that's bl- a nice one. Too. It's blinding the colors. Was that? That's ten G's, fifteen G's. Uh, yeah, twenty. Say it's eleven yeah. a.m. No, no, no. It's not twenty. Okay. Rolex is not that expensive. Like the stainless steel. This is a sky dweller, black sky dweller. This is my holy grail watch. Ten G's is an ex- What are you talking about? It's expensive, but when you look at it, it's worth thirty. Like if yeah, I was they to go resell up. it, yeah, yeah, right. It's almost, it's a very, yeah, it's a. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, listen, put thank those you, in. Nicole. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Nicole's, Where's Bobby's? Nicole's a backstabber. I mean, she's just a bad human. Where's being. Bobby's? Uh, it's a sky dweller, but that's the blue one. Mine's worth like thirty. Jesus Christ! What? Thirty You're the richest grand, guy I man. know. No, I I didn't pay that. Oh. No, I didn't. I would never do that. When you they go up, would you steal it? That's the gray market. On shop. That's the gray market. Gotcha. And, uh, Rolex is just like an investment. Sure. So you could buy an uh, uh you know a Rolex. Where'd you get it at the airport? Something like I that. Duty free. No, I got it at um, I got it at Mayer's and um. John. Yeah, John Mayer gave it to me. <laughs> Bought it at Sunglass Hut in the mall for punching up some of his stuff when he was with the Grateful Dead. <laughs> no, he uh. Yo, God. Mayors is a big in, in, in Tampa. He really took a shot on <laughs> what, that. What he was just, it? He just fell into a John Mayer ah, song, oh my and God. you didn't catch it. Man, Woo! the confidence you Lucky you I stepped over that. Yikes. Uh, a couple stinkers. Hey, get him another piece of gum, will you? <laughs> Say my best game. Uh, here's Chris. a good one from Lou. 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 Is this Louis C.K.? No. Okay. Louis. You don't think he's on Patreon? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> also, Louis, I saw Louis at the after party. I'm like, hey, fantastic job. Love the movie. Thanks. He goes, by the way, that podcast is killing it. I wanted to be like, yeah, because you were on it, Louie. What the? <laughs> do you not know who you are? He's like, that uh, thing's doing really well. I'm like, yeah, you're wildly famous. We shot a, a stupid video in his hotel room for Louie. He bought the whole. Hey, hey, I, I watched it. it. I Just to let it. you know, if, if you want to watch the show, Louie, the only place is louisck.com. I purchased it. You can go there and buy it, 30 bucks. I suggest doing it while mm-hmm. he owns it. Because once it goes back, you don't know where the fuck it's going to go, and it might disappear. I watched Bang Bang last night with my mo- with my wife. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, great. Did that I ask you where that Indian place was? Where, where you always the, wanted to. It was on the east side. Okay. Uh, I don't know. We were, we were standing there, and we he was, I mean, literally making up. As we're doing it, he's like, what do you want to do? I go, uh, I don't know. And we just started doing this. He's like, no. And I was like, all right, uh, Dally, uh, Diner Indian. He goes, great. Uh-huh. And then we just found an Indian place. Yeah, it looks Dude, you good. wiping the sauce off with the naan. Yeah, right. 
Is that's a pro move? The that is non, a, the pro. Fact you know it's non instead of bread, <laughs> you <laughs> chubby motherfucker. <laughs> I live next to an Indian place. Um, I love Indian food. So good, Ooh. dude. I I feel so blessed. Let's this not do a fatso moment where we're all just eating after the show. It's very refreshing, dude. I walk out my door every day and I smell the Indian food. It's so good. I'm like, it, yeah. it's fantastic. Oh, it's dipping so in sweet. breads. Oh. Oh. You, you sit down. They give you like 15 sauces. Ah, oh. oh. spicy. They're all different so colors too. Ah. Oh. All right, Lou, not Louis C.K., Lou, mm-hmm. uh, are hair extensions classy or trashy? I think, I don't know. That's trashy. Yeah, probably pretty trashy. Yeah. I mean, I know people get jammed up. They got to do what they got to do. But I was yeah. thinking about getting some in the front. Yeah. S- s- you, really? Set of curtains. I, I, can I tell you something? <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Rick James <laughs> rolling around. You look. Your baldness looks good. Thanks. He's. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm trying to. You know. I do the Rogaine and the Propecia, or whatever. But it's like I'm. I'm married. I got a good looking dame. I'm uh, relatively successful in this world. I'm checked I, I out. I like good. your hair. Thanks. Like Tom Papa's. Louis's good. The I way. tell him all the time. It's very Bruce Willis. I like your baldness. My baldness had a little baby curl here, and then it went away. I look like a fucking moron. That's all. I don't care about. I don't care that it's going back or this. I yeah. just don't want to lose. Be, like I don't want this little patch here. So I'm just trying to fight to keep. Looks this good. Patch. I like it. Thank it's you. Very uh, 1950s man. Ooh. I'll right. Take I mean, that. you can't. There you go. Nobody can fuck with this Greek no. goddess. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god! Look at that shit. That's all I got. Got good hair. That's it. The Greek god of fish. Tacos. Let's go. <laughs> Hi-yo. Um, I, have to, I have to do uh, a couple small business tier reads at the end. Uh, right, Mush? Yeah. Holy shit, Mush. What's, What's up, good, buddy? buddy? How does he sneak anywhere? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How did you not notice a fucking a two-something Mexican saw, walk in the room? I saw him walk in before. You did? Did you get scared? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Uh, I'm, I got one more question for you guys. Okay. For Kippy and Foley, do you think the show overshadows? Oh, I don't like it already. Yeah, your stand up too much. Also, when is Patty coming on to the show? Uh, show us how to properly make a cutlet. Ooh. A hashtag uh, ten dollar homie. Ooh, nice. shout out to the ten dollar. Shout out homies. to the ten dollar homies. You gotta love the ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars are good people. They get hard feelings. They five people, are, five dollar people, good people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ten dollar people. We have it's a different breed of people. Ten, you get a whole, whole other podcast. You get hard feelings where we just fucking bitch at each other. I think we have eight times the amount of $10 homies. We have no five. It was like a couple hundred five dollars. People like to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. They like, Love it. If they like you, they like you, which is awesome. Um, well. Now, what's this? Does what? Does, uh, oh, does the you show listen, what, kind you? of what we were talking I did. about? You're thinking about fucking bone broth. No, I was I was, I was furious when I heard the word overshadow. <laughs> yeah, that one. My, my does husband. it overshadow? You? Our stand-up, he's saying. Yeah, like, which we up. talked about. No. There, people aren't. I don't. I think the live shows they go and like our live show is very good. We are two, you know, we are two very strong working comedians that each co-headline and then we're you know we're very good together. And it's like our our live shows are fucking very 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 good. So I think that if you come out to a live show, you get to see what you know our stand up on its own. Yeah, I don't. I think you're right. I think you're hundred percent right. I think you come out to one of your shows. And and get to see you guys do stand up up front, mm-hmm. have a fucking blast, mm-hmm. and then go into the thing that they they, they like yeah. that they like and they connect <clears throat> with, and they get to ask us their questions. And the hard part of those things, though, is this: I don't know, how, like when we did, it's how do you end it? Like, what is the laugh? What is that boom? Stand up, you know what your closer mm-hmm. is, sure. So you know, all right, that's it. Thank you. Good night. When you do the live thing at the end, like with uh, that's why Bennington was awesome because mm-hmm. he knew when orchestrated ended. it a little bit. Yeah, he knew how to. Or- so, like I always found when I did the YKWDs, when do you fucking it's tough? And it's like, oh, do we do enough time? Mm-hmm. That was a good one. Fuck. Sure, we shouldn't have pushed it. We have a pretty good. Uh- <clears throat> like even the thing with Louis, what we did at the movie. It's yeah. like, mm-hmm. We should have ended that five minutes before. Why did my mic all of a sudden become crystal clear? Did my head just clear? <laughs> Something just happened. A Rolex started working. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it's tough, and like we have, you know, we have a pretty good ear for it. Right. I'm like, you know, it's because yeah. it is very similar to stand up, and we we don't. It's all blind. It's all just like yeah. I pull the like the like the ten best questions, right? And then we just go and I just read like he doesn't know what they are, so it's like we kind of. That's the fun part. That's though. the fun part. No like, we're really flying blind, and it's like that's great. We try right. to yeah. if. 
we tr- you know, and we've missed a couple of times where we both sure. looked at each other and been like, fuck, All that right. was it. You know, or like, right. so we'll front. say something, I'll tag it, it works, and he tries to tag it again, and it doesn't work, or I miss, and you're like, fuck, we should have got out. But, you know. But I, you guys recover from that. You guys are fucking fast on the fly. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Hey, the, I got a question for you, and then I got to do these reads, sure, if please. you don't mind. No, not at all. Um, I got some, uh, some small business tier sponsors mm-hmm. who I love. Um, helping out the uh, the uh, small businesses, but um, you guys came to New York with a crew, mm-hmm. and your crew seems to slowly be popping up, right? Sure. Yeah. 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 Do, do, is there any jealousy between any of the guys for what's going on with you? Do they do they want do, because you guys were all together? Mm-hmm. Sure. Right, and then you guys kind of split up. Yeah. And went your own way. Uh huh. And became your own little tribes. Nah, it's all, it's all, it's all love. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. Love. It's all Everybody's love. happy. Everybody. It's also too like I think when you're like younger and trying to figure it out, it's it, tensions are higher. Everybody's nervous. Am I going to make? Am I not going to make? Is this guy? Is that person? That girl? Whatever. But I think now everybody kind of has like a career and is professional comedians. It's like all right, you know, We're like everybody's kind of settled. Settled. Happy to see. I'd love to see what Reggie Conquest is doing. That's fucking. The Who's best. that? Reggie. You know Reggie. What's that? What? <laughs> I love Reggie. Reggie's the best. I do. I love him. All right. Well, let me He's get to these it. things. We're going to wrap it up and give some plugs. Uh, I want to thank, uh, for the fans of Opie and Anthony, Guy Times Presents is the only comedy podcast network in the history of podcasting to have injected boner medicine into the penis of paralyzed man for the sake of content. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Get it? With over 10 different series all available on the same feed, including Girl Times, Yo!, Future Me, Our Family, Jewels, and more. It's almost like Shock Jock Radio never left at all. That's kind of interesting. These guys went back and got all this stuff. And they ah, I like that. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Because that I believe it's coming back. I believe people want fucked up shit more. I think it is turning yeah. that way more and I more, think yeah. so. People want a little edge in their shit sure. again. They're sick of this Disney horse shit. Uh, Malala, what is this? Malice Gems? Has an ever-growing variety of beautiful tungsten carbon rings. Ooh, I love those those rings. Uh, to fit any style uh, version of your life. Want to look gaudy like Rich Voss? <laughs> <laughs> we got you covered. You want to look sleek, cool? Look, we got we got that too. Uh, want to shine bright and be noticed? We got you covered. Go to Malice Gems. M A L I. Uh, is it Malik Gems? M A L I C G E M S dot com. Again, that's Malik Gems dot com. And use promo code YKWD for fifteen percent off your order. I'm actually gonna go there and get a ring because uh, I don't like to wear my real ring when I go on vacation. I like to get like a like a tungsten ring or a something that says I'm single or something. I'd love to take this off. I don't if I know. if I wasn't so fat, I can't wait till I lose enough weight that this slips right off on stage, hits a chick right in the tooth. Why don't you want to wear it on vacation? Huh? Why don't you want to wear it? He's no- trolling. Because no, when you go on vacation, it goes in the wall. I go in the water uh-huh. and I've lost three of these. Uh-huh. So I usually just get a, a whatever. Just ring. whatever, just to have. It's just to have on, because I do love wearing my Plus you swell up from all the shellfish. Were you in the fucking shellfish? I mean, shellfish really? Tacos. I mean, what though? You, if you you should try eating more shellfish. You talk about it. You don't have lobster on vacation, Bobby. Fucking boo! Lobster. It's a lot of shellfish. He's a I whale. Hate, I hate what? lobster. What? Nothing on that. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> you went too quick. We didn't get you. Talk about should have ended it. <laughs> uh, go I'm to Robert. No Ke- one to get out. <laughs> See me live, RobertKellyLive dot com. You can go there. I'm in Montreal just for laughs, doing the nasty show the whole time I'm up there. Vasani's Comedy Theater in Port Charlotte. On the 4th, and then uh, we got Brouhaha Cincinnati in August, and we got the Asbury Festival uh, in Asbury uh, uh, Park, New Jersey, uh, the 27th. That's 26th to 27th. I'll be doing some very big, awesome shows. And then I'm at Jim Thorpe in September, October, November. I'm back at it. Newtown Theater. That's why my hometown. I love it. I love Newtown Theater. I'll be back at it with more dates coming soon. So go to robertkellylive.com. Click on my dates. And if you want to buy some merch, go to comicwearables.com. You want a Papa King hat? Because you're the Papa King of your fucking family. YKWD. We got all kinds of stuff up there. The old logo, the new logo. Uh, and type in code word ladybug. Get 20% off. That's not 10, 15, 20% off if you use code word ladybug for that merch right there. And make sure you go to these guys. What's your website? What do you guys want to plug? 
We don't have a website, but uh, all of our tour dates are available uh, starting uh, August 11th. We're going to be in Red Bank, New Jersey, and then Portland, Seattle, Nashville, Kansas. Uh, we're all over the fucking place. Just announced Boston, Philly, Rhode Island. Uh, get those tickets. Oh, yeah. Come out to a live show. They're a real hoot. Comes yeah, out. man. You got to go see these guys live. Very, very funny. And they're doing their podcast, which is fucking hilarious. One of the funnest Thank podcasts you. out there to do, to watch. Uh, make sure you check them out, and uh, I love having you guys on. Thank we you. Love you, buddy. We love you. We man. love you. Come Happy back so on much. to plug the special when it's out. Yay! Wow, come back on when it comes out. Yeah, Maybe I'll please. bring Lou. Yeah, there Louis. you go. <laughs> Look how excited you get. <laughs> you mean the I guy start from crying the email? Again? <laughs> You're not going to cry when I go on by myself. I'm talking about the guy from the email. Right? I came on by myself. You're like, all right, Damn. Bob, take care. Uh, I see you, Bob. Yeah, who's coming in next? Jared, F- Jared Freed. What's up? Uh, all right, guys. Shout we'll out see- to Jared Freed. <laughs> what? Oh shit! We're going to read these names. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Can we read these? Will you help me read Buddy, these? Buddy, I'm a slave to the Patreon. I let's get do. it. Let's do Read them, Foley. Read them. Come uh, on. Jerry man. Lynn Tantrell. You got Jeremy Wolf. You got Ever I mean, wow, Moreno. No, no enthusiasm. I mean, nothing to it. Andrew I mean, Smith. You, you got go. Daniel Lindsay. Sean Hadley. Zach Guerrero. Dean Lewis. What is that? I mean, look at that. A hundred a month. Whoa. Whoa. Zach, holy shit. Dude, I want to suck Zach off. Zach. Damn. Dean Lewis. There you go. And uh, Malicious Rift. That's, the, uh, that's beautiful. That's the that's the jewelry. M- malicious Rift. What's up, baby? There you go. I'm going to buy some of that jewelry Love right that. there. Yeah. All right? You forgot the very first thing. Did I say it right? Uh, the gems? The way to say it, so I guess it's be malice. malice Gems. You've been listening to the YKWD Podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.